Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome. We're live. And we're fixed. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's Dogma 2 time. Dogma 2 time 2. And we are nice and early today. It's 2.16 here in fabulous Las Vegas. I was planning on exactly this. Had an appointment today taken care of. We're back. Got some coffee with some melted ice and I'm uh, ready to run it back for, for day two. I love that uh, between yesterday and today, <laughs> there has formed a gargantuan internet beast, the likes of which no one could have predicted, or, or, or ev everyone, I could have predicted it. Hu freaking huge DLC controversy, man. It was everywhere in my social media feed. You can't avoid it now. Which is unfortunate. How's the game so far? It's a lot of fun. That's why I'm playing it twice. The Fallout is hilarious. Yeah, it's... It's definitely something, dude. Uh, in, when I'm looking at it now, I think it's about, it's about that time. We were, we had kind of quieted down. Now it's time for another ang angry thing to be mad about. And I'm not saying that there's not some parts justified, but, but man, it's just omnipresent, inescapable. And if you've escaped it, then count your blessings, chat. If you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, good, continue to live in ignorance away from social media you're living you're living in a wonderful beautiful nirvana of peace and tranquility or perhaps you've been disconnected from the internet May mayhaps you've just been separated. But what's up, everybody? What up, people? Howdy. Oh, you gotta get... Don't do it! Nope, wrong button. Hold on. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> oh, what's up, Ian? I forgot you were there. Now I need to know. I mean, it's just a, it's a DLC controversy. There's it. It's um. You it, okay? Like literally, if any of you just search "Dragons Dogma 2 Controversy" into Google, I promise you, there will be countless news articles. Basically, it's just DLC bad is the summary. DLC bed. What's up, Nessa man? Thanks for 36 months. I appreciate the three years. Thank you for the second sub of the day and uh, happy three years to you, dude. Chillin' Sicilian says the stream DLC is so cool. As a side note, I just hit 1,000 hours in Hearts of Iron. Impressive numbers. Have you chosen a country yet? The only real issue is the lack of a new game button. Correct. That, that, well, I don't know if that's the only issue, but I would say that that's the major issue. The major issue is you can't start a new game. <laughs> Just like Devil May Cry 5. Which still annoys me. If 
because that's what I tried to do yesterday, ultimately discovering the hard way that you can't really create a new game. We, we looked for it in various folders and went on a wild goose chase that we didn't know we were going on because it didn't exist. I tried to delete what I thought were save files. Uh, silly, silly, dumb streamer. Can't delete the save files. They're on the cloud. The game has major performance issues. I, you know what? I don't doubt that because I've seen enough people talk about it. But I finally get to be the guy that says, mm, I haven't had anything wrong. <laughs> uh, but listen, I know that you might have what you believe to be legitimate concerns, but I assure you, based on my personal anecdotal experience, there's no problems for the performance. Anyways, thanks again for getting the stream subs and also chillin' Sicilian. Thank you for the tier three. It is worth mentioning. Thanks for five subs and one, dude. What up, Tay Tay? Hello, Kyoko, Classy Doge. Gianna, welcome back. What's up, Altajur, Iron Core, Electroraptor? You guys are a little wide over there. You need to cut down a little bit. Can you start a new game if you get a game over? You just reload your save. If you die. So you really couldn't get a game over. I'm assuming that you can start a new game if you, like, beat the game. Like, if you win, I assume you get to keep playing somehow. And they're not just like, you, you've you got your one-time use. Uh, much like our DLC and the items in our in-game shops. Unfortunately, once you rip the ticket for Dragon's Dogma 2, the experience is over. That'd be pretty funny if it was like that. What's up, Fargman? Thank you for 66 months. Finally springtime. It's starting to feel like spring. It's definitely warming up. Thanks for the tier two sub, dude. Welcome to the beginning of another one. We're going to be going for a while today. Unless something terrible happens. That's why I'm getting started nice and early. Because uh, I, want, I want to actually pump some time in. We we spent some good time in the character creator. Some would argue the true gameplay loop of um, Dragon's Dogma 2. Albeit a short experience. Can't I Listen, chat. The, the worst part about Dragon's Dogma 2 is that the, by putting the character creator behind a consumable item that you can get in game. They have limited the majority of the gameplay. I can't believe they've hidden uh, the core gameplay experience of the character creator behind a consumable item. But anyway, welcome everybody. I'm sure there will be a lot of people popping in at random intervals and kind of asking about it. So I'm, me I'm mentally preparing myself. To get it out of the way at the front, my opinion on the microtransactions is that, yes, microtransactions in a single-player game are dumb. Yes, there is the potential that because of the existence of single-player microtransactions, game or games could be persuaded to restrict the drop rates of various rare items in order to incentivize purchases of those items via real money transactions is a possibility. And anybody who says it's not a possibility is just lying. Or stupid. However, there's the but. I don't think in this case there is anything that would hurt my personal experience of Dragon's Dogma 2 except for the lack of a new game button. I don't, like... The other stuff is whatever. The The other DLC stuff is, is whatever. To me. I, I don't, I do not care about anything except the lack of a new game button, and I would argue not putting, uh, character 
design character creator edits behind a consumable those are like the only two things everything else i don't care about nobody really cared in resident evil 4 remake that you had to like buy all of the costumes and you could get deluxe uh sentinel 9 or deluxe skull shaker weapons or all of the stupid weapon upgrade tickets a b c d e f a b c d a up tickets up to times five gold cases classic cases you can literally buy a handgun ammo charm for resident evil 4 like that's all we've that stuff's easy to dodge the two things that I mentioned as an exception are not easy to dodge. So there you go. My my opinion can be summed up in, I think that the DLC is dumb, but I am not mad about it. Both can be true. What's up, I dwarf? How's it going? Hello, Colum on Sarah. Howdy, Ian. <laughs> Hello, Ian. I'm, I'm anxious to uh, journey with you today. The other Capcom example I can think of is Devil May Cry. Yeah. Devil May Cry was another game where I actually tried installing it on my Steam Deck and I wanted to like start a new game and you can't start a new game in Devil May Cry. The difference between, I think some people have been like, well, why are people angry now about micro these microtransactions and DLCs? And I think the simple answer is Dragon's Dogma 2 is more mainstream. It, it, it's hitting a larger audience like the the Elden Ring crowd and the Dark Souls crowd and any of the other RPG games crowds, possibly even the Baldur's Gate crowd who want, who leans more toward the action side. I think there's a lot more eyeballs on Dragon's Dogma 2, certainly than the first game, but probably more than Capcom's other games where they do this. And I think that the people who are the most shocked and appalled are the people who were just interested in Dragon's Dogma 2. By and large. Because their most recent games besides this are like Street Fighter, which is a big game, but two things. Number one, um, there's already almost as many reviews for Dragon's Dogma 2 as Street Fighter 6. There, there just needs to be like 6,000 more reviews. And that's since June for Street Fighter. But also, uh, Capcom's been nickel and diming the Street Fighter community for many years. <laughs> so I think they already know what to expect. And yeah, like, I think Dorito said the other DLCs, they released like a month after launch. So they just decided to release these ones live, I guess. So they get the positive reviews first, then they release the DLC, but maybe they thought no, not enough people were buying it a month late. The last Monster Hunter has like $600 of DLC. No way. Like Monster Hunter Rise? That's the last Monster Hunter. Oh. Oh. Oh, um, huh, okay, <laughs> look at this, Monster Hunter Rise, content for this game, browse all 252. Oh, 
Only showing 200 of 252. Can't even see them all on the Steam page by default. But yeah, they're all like $1.50 to $4. Background music. Elegant hairstyle. Palico makeup. 99 cents. This is the Sims DLC. The acrobat gesture. Hunter voices. Here's the thing, I can't be mad at voice packs. Because I used to be a fan of that when Smite did it. But yeah, the uh, individual hairstyles for $2 is crazy. Anyway. <laughs> Arch. <laughs> You made me choke on my coffee. Hairstyles for two dollars. That's insane. My barber charges thirty. That was a good one. How come Capcom gets two <laughs> locos? I don't know. It wouldn't feel so bad if it was anyone but Capcom who've been making some of their best and some of the best games in the past 10 years. Yeah, Capcom has really stepped up their video games. I get mad about a lot of stuff, chat, but like in gaming, in gaming drama. But in this case, I just don't have time to be mad about that. I saw a couple people tweet something to the effect of like, I waited nine or ten years for this. And it's like a screenshot of them with 118 minutes in the game. And then a refund confirmation on Steam. And it's like, you buffoon. Two things. Number one, Steam will still refund you if you've played more than two hours. And secondly, you've waited nine years of your life just to get pissed about some microtransactions. So one of two things is true there. Either you didn't care that much in the first place, because if you did care that much, I guarantee you this would not be an obstacle for your enjoyment. And number two, what, are you just going to wait for the next one? Like, what are you going to do in between? If the times are so good for you that you look at Dragon's Dogma 2's DLC and you go, I don't need that. Great. Good. That means you've already got a lot of really fun shit happening in your life. That means you've already got like some other video games that you're playing every single day and you don't need to spend $70 anyways. Okay, but me, okay. I need something fun to do, chat. Times are tough right now, all right? And this was a lot of fun yesterday and I'm just not about to wait another 10 years for them to release a game. Not that I was really waiting that much for this one, but I do not have uh, five other games that I can look at and point to and go, yes, that game is awesome. But yeah, if you, if you don't need it, then by all means, keep enjoying the thing that's occupying your time right now. But I need this. <laughs> Talks, you're going to convince Splattercat to play Dragon's Dogma 2? Uh, Splat would definitely like this game, I think. He can stab ogres in the eyeball by climbing on them. I feel like that's enough. You don't really need to convince that much more. That should be enough. Yeah, I think if you refund because of performance issues, then sure. If it doesn't if it doesn't run, then it doesn't run. I heard people say that it's really smooth on PS5, and I don't know if it's on Xbox One. We're playing on PC. So I assume. Either way, yeah, I think Spy would like this game. 
It seems like it's up his alley. Chat, out of out of those of you who are here at the beginning of stream before we jump back in, which I'm about to do, what has been your experience? We need maybe we let's do a beginning of stream poll, actually. I'm curious. Dragons Dogma 2 Poll. Um Played and liked it. Played and refunded it. Haven't played. Uh, I guess you could do played and disliked it. And just didn't refund it. There you go. Two minute, two minute poll in the chat. I'm curious what the response will be. My laptop can't even run Skyrim. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> That's really rough. It's time for a new laptop, though. It's on Xbox, still waiting on birthday cash to buy it. I've been hearing iffy stuff on PS5. I, I heard it, people like, ah, I didn't run on my PC, but I got it on PS5 after refund and it runs so much better. So I don't know. All right, while you guys are doing that, let's jump in. I got my controller, which... It's not. There we go. Fixed. I'll be one guy since I didn't technically get a refund. Sir Baron seeks a motivated <laughs> soldier to inspire the other recruits. Here's our boy. <laughs> I take it you've some business with this person. Then pray. Follow me. I'll have to turn their volume up. Is yours. Lead on. Sir Ian, thank you. Where to now? We just made it to the city. We literally just got here and I already see a giant bird outside that is drawing Over my here, eye. If you please. And uh, my companions are going to try and get my attention to show me stuff because... Alright, 74% of beginning of stream chatters have not played. Very interesting. 22% have played and liked it. 3%, which is three people. We got exactly 100 votes. No. God. No, we didn't. It's rounding up. Really now? You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the... Tis the arisen. Uh, I guess time is running. Yeah, you guys didn't quite get 100 votes. But I'm going to assume it's accurate anyways. $70 Nopers. I got the first game for like $5 from the spring sale, though. I hope you have fun with it. I uh, kind of disliked it after the first few hours. <laughs> but yeah, 70 plus percent haven't played. Interesting. So that's why you're here. But yes, we, we, we just got to the city um, with our companions, which basically means we're exiting the tutorial effectively because we were began in a, in a very small sort of linear plays if if you played witcher 3 and you remember how you start in sort of a smaller nested area and then you work your way out it kind of felt like that because they did sort of fast travel us to the city you can see we don't have anything uncovered or discovered here but yeah it was kind of a white orchard experience and so we are. We just left that little tutorial zone, which you can beat really fast. But there were actually, even though it's quite a linear pathway here, you can see that there's some places we didn't explore that we could go back and explore. So there's a little bit more down a few roads, but also a lot of nooks and crannies. 
even though it it looks very linear on the map if you take a different road it feels like you can go off and wander and discover so i spent quite a lot of time because i am a very thorough explorer i probably still missed a bunch of things there's still two caves that i haven't explored uh which might just be really small i have no idea but um uh, we'll, we'll probably end up going back there and like scoping it out because i marked a place on a map that i couldn't figure out how to get to that i want to try and find so there's there's like map markers and and some good exploration beats but yeah we're playing with a controller on pc for me the guy who was taking me to the city ran off and left me alone uh, in my case, he got left behind, and I was like, where'd he go? And I went back and found him, and he had just, his pathfinding got stuck. So your dude's pathfinding might have got stuck, and you actually might have left him. Possibly. <laughs> so, anyway. The city is going to be probably pretty large. This is Vernworth. And we're going to be here for a bit, just kind of exploring, talking to some people, and uh, figuring out what our next call to action is. Uh, the story so far is pretty straightforward, even if it is quite anime. Uh, the recap is, there was a dragon attack. My character um, tried to fight the dragon, got melted with dragon's breath, the fire, of course, classic. But apparently was helping protect this woman, and um, we don't really know who she is. But we woke up ostensibly kind of almost risen from the dead like uh, chat i was a little confused on that he died when he got burned with dragon fire right like he didn't just like get really injured and they healed him i was a little confused on that part but they uh effectively discovered that he was chosen by the dragon uh to be the next arisen the dragon like plucked down his heart and ate it and like gave him these special powers. And now all of these pawns, which are effectively uh, our little creative characters. I'm well aware of that. They're talking right now. We, we made Ian McShane our pawn. Uh, the pawns listened to the Arisen. We went back to this city after they found out that we had these mystical powers to command the pawns, which is only something that the Arisen has. And there's only one Arisen. And then, apparently, the queen regent of the council or whatever dr drugged my character and gave them, like, a curse that made them forget who they are and tried to send them to, like, a work camp to live as a, as a peasant or, or live as another pawn. So, the, the short version of the story is there's a consul who rule in our stead until such time as the new Arisen can be discovered and put on the throne. They found the Arisen, which is the main character who we're playing as, but they said, actually, I want to keep ruling, so that's where we're at. There's like a, there's like a fake Arisen on the throne who is the pawn of the old council who does not want to relinquish their power and control. So... It sounds more complicated when I say it out loud, but it's actually a pretty straightforward story so far, despite all of the Chosen by the Dragon stuff being weird anime storylines. I think that's why they're called Arisen, because they arise when they die. True. True. Thank you. So we just made it to the city, and there's one of the guards is kind of like on our Weapons side. Are simple enough to procure if we've the coin. But we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. But he doesn't want to There's reveal no that... Shock to me. <laughs> they talk a lot. <laughs> Where's my little party? Here they are. Come back. Um, so this is our pawn, Ian McShane. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Thanks, this Ian. ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps and then, new discoveries await us above. These two we picked up on the way. Eris from a runestone and Sonya on the road. Sonya's a Capcom pawn. So we got a party of four. 
I am playing Archer, Ian is Mage, Sonya is a thief, and Eris is a fighter. So we have a big, a big complimentary party right now. How does it work out for her if the world gets destroyed, though? I don't know. Maybe she's on Team Dragon. All right. These dudes want me to explore everything because we just walked in through the gate and we have a whole city to look at. So let's just start looking, dude. Is this game worth getting? Looking away from the obvious issues? I've been having fun with it so far. Depends on if it works on your computer. Um, my I played for like five hours yesterday and I had a great time. That's been my experience so far. I didn't know there were any problems until people in chat started I've coming in. Interesting tidings about town. Me too. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes. It would seem the Queen Regent has made significant alterations to the chain of command. You guys don't have to follow me into literally every building. When does my watch end? Is, there a, is there a cow in there? Might you be looking to enlist? All right, we're looking for a soldier. By the way, when I say we're looking for something, it doesn't mean that I want help on these quests. I'm just telling you sort of what we're doing. Uh, but we're looking for people to send back to like a camp. We're looking for eager soldiers and adventurers to like settle this little farmstead back in the tutorial area. <laughs> I love how my crew just walks in the people's homes, opens the chest. I didn't even get to loot it. I like he the thief saw the chest before I did and then stole the stuff I've inside. Heard there's a means to tell if someone who claims to be arisen is in fact the real thing. See, there's an oracle up in the palace whose powers allow her to divine whether the arisen yet lives. There's only one arisen in the world. So no matter how many pretenders come forth, the Oracle can see through their lies. Although, come to think of it, is that really proof? Does the Oracle know who the Arisen is, or only that they exist? Yes, her, her voice is like pitched up. I'm familiar with the technique. Ox carts don't travel a night anymore. Didn't you know that? Monsters are apt to grow bold with the sun setting, you see. It would be the height of madness to take one's cart out after dark, particularly when tis loaded up with goods. Should you require a cart services, you'd best wait for the morn, methinks. Okay. I kind of didn't figure that, actually, but it makes sense. It is dark at night. Adventuring at night... In the city is a good idea, because we can't do anything else at night anyways, but we're safe inside the city. So, I'm just going to go kind of walk around and, like, talk to people. Now, they have day-night cycles and, like, schedules, so they might be in their homes or in different places during the day. Dude, the Radiant AI. If you're enjoying life, does all else matter? Now there's value in freedom. Value beyond gold. I guess it is a little harder to spot stuff. I can turn my lantern on, but it just seems like a complete waste of... Man, they, ha they have hidden stuff actually everywhere, even if it's just 50G. Watch your step, old man. But yeah, we're, we're playing a geezer. Uh, I need to change his Oof. birth certificate. My pack's grown rather heavy. Let's He's... see. What can we do without? <laughs> okay, it'd be actually hilarious if they described different items that were in their pack and we're like we don't need that why do you have six health potions you've only used two in the last battle sir you'll have to do well to beat today's gossip but yeah they got stuff scattered around fine row roberant that's a heal but it's like a good heal but you actually get to customize we did we did a character creator for how long did this guy take chat I don't have all day. What what was his name again? <laughs> Fulpenturn, of course. Fulpenturn. Or Fulp for short. Something for me. Fulp for short. But you get to make their uh, posture and their walk cycle and animation. And the same for our pawn. Love how they just watch you steal shit. I... <sighs> 
this is an unpopular opinion. Actually, no, I think I think this is a popular opinion. I'm going to take it around. Um, stealing systems and RPGs suck. Dried fish. I don't even care if it's Baldur's Gate. Ha having red stuff that's illegal and and white text that you're allowed to take. Either just weapons put... are simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Just make everything no lootable. To me. Like I don't I don't like stealing systems because they don't really add anything fun. I, I you could argue that it is fun in Baldur's Gate to sneak in with a thief with stealth and then do a lock pick or something like that i guess but good day to you it's fun like a couple times and then it just becomes perfunctory after that come i'll lead the way no um it's actually kind of hard to explore at night why is there an exclamation point over here that means that my pawn saw something that they wanted me this ladder is here for a reason after you arisen that ladder? That's on a balcony. Hold on. You're telling me I can't climb this to get up there? That looks so climbable. Alright. Well, if not that way. I need to, like, assassin screed my way up to the roof. Maybe you can go out on the balcony from here. This way, master. See, there's nothing over. There's nothing over here. I'm interrupting these people while they're sleeping, and their father is just staring into the corner. <laughs> <sighs> this game takes a while to compile shaders the first time it boots. It did take a while, yeah. Over here, if you would. What do you want, Sonya? All right. He's waving to me. Where are you taking me? I'm just gonna follow them, okay? Instead of exploring every single- We can explore every nook and cranny in a minute. They're on a mission. We- I- I- Are they taking me to my quest? Hey, you've got a decent arm on you. <laughs> Where? Where did you come from, Humphrey? I think I'm supposed to be looking for you. Talk to Humphrey in Vermont City is on my Steam notes. The one NPC in the entire city that I needed to talk to is it just runs up to me in the middle of the night. No need to be humble. Just the other day, I watched you fell a massive monster with my own two eyes. I've never seen the like. Pray, sir, teach me to fight like you do. I'm after an instructor, see, but the ones in this city are cravens all. The sort that decided to teach to avoid the battlefield. If I'm to grow stronger, I need to learn from someone who's seen actual battle. A real warrior, such as yourself. Won't you give me a chance? I have just the man for you. Um... Okay, so who's the one that told us about Humphrey? It was in that first spawn area, right? There was just a guy who was overlooking a chasm. And he was like, oh, my nephew or grandson, Humphrey, something, something, in the, the Vermin City. I don't remember what he said, though. Just I just wrote down Humphrey, Vermin City. And then we found this other dude who was a soldier who was like, I want to teach some youngins the ways of war. And this Baron fellow, he's a real warrior? I... I have no idea. He's dressed like one. I suppose you wouldn't recommend him if he wasn't. And after all, I've seen your prowess. I'm inclined to trust your judgment. I just met the guy. Many thanks, sir. Methinks I'll seek out this Baron and see what he can teach me. Don't go alone or at night. It's a very dangerous road. We had to get a full military escort. Is that what you wanted to show me, Sonia? Son, I don't know if Sonya was leading me here or like got interrupted by that guy or what. What delights might there be to find in town today? Also, I feel like we should just find an inn. 
Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Oh. Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. Where are but you? Perhaps the Arisen has recalled some more pressing business. Fret not. I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. Maybe they're just taking me to the quest. Baron requires proper tools. Find him some decent weapons and a soldier. All right, so we still need to find him weapons. Visit the Star Drop in a night and confer with Captain Brant. Okay, that's the main quest. But it is night, and I don't think it would be wrong to get the quest started? It really depends on what they do with it. Can you pet the ox? Weapons are simple enough to procure if we the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Right you are. <laughs> Rodeo riding in the bar. <laughs> I need to know what it's like to tame a real buck and bull. Wrong button. I'm not taking any passengers just now, sir. So much pitch shifting for these actors. It's actually distracting. Let's not be bothering me for no reason. Just tell them to do a different funny voice. <laughs> I've been afraid to travel through these parts of late. I I'm no coward. Have you not heard? Goblins will set up on any ox cart what comes down this road. Tis true. Heard it from a fellow driver. She said their ilk robbed her cart of all the weapons she was carrying. Tis the stuff of nightmares. I can only pray they don't come after me and mine. It's funnier this way, though. True. So maybe if we go explore, we can find that caravan, get the weapons, and complete the rest of the quest. I'm allergic to finding the caravan of dropped weapons and turning it in for the quest. Hmm. What shall I do today? There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us. I freaking love ladders, dude. Use of a fairy stone will instantly transport you to the location of a port crystal. Port crystals are permanent fixtures of cities and towns, but you may also place your own port crystals at destinations of your choice. You may have the 10 placed at various locations in the world at any one time. Once placed, a port crystal can be recovered if you want to move it somewhere else. Permanent port crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once. Touch it. Good job. So we got a fast travel point. Shakir's Inn. Well, we might be in the right place, depending on what we want to do. Do you think it's... Maybe it's easier to explore during the day, I don't know. Hello, innkeeper. We'll need to confer with you to choose our skills, won't we? Then perhaps upgrade our abilities? Perhaps there is some loot up here for us, or we could access the ladder, perchance? It's actually a lot of stuff here. I don't know what to do with all these camping kits. I feel like they're throwing modest camping kit at us. Now I'm encumbered. I'm not sure if this is a sellable item, though. We'll, we'll have to check its price. I also need to use storage because I am a heavy boy. There's the ladder. 
I just realized this character is not in sneak mode and just has a hunched back. No! Oh! I'm dead! <laughs> I killed him. Oh, old man, old man slips off a ladder. <laughs> Oh man, it sneaks up on you. <laughs> oh lord. All right, well, back to the save, I guess. I never expected to die in the city. <laughs> That'll teach me to drop my guard for even a second. Jesus. Just before I rested in the in the inn as well. That's so funny. The auto I gotta say the auto saves have actually been insane. As in good. I've died three times and the auto save has been right on my ass all three times. Oh, that was so funny. The other day I arrived at the border checkpoint only to realize I left my entry permit back at the inn. Ended up having to make the trip back and I was late for my delivery. When I complained to a fellow driver about it, he said next time I ought to use a Bistrin mask. Seems Batal favors its Bistrin residents, so they get through without the hassle of a permit. Could be worth keeping a disguise. Oh, this is telling me... This is... This is telling me what to do in the future. Wear a disguise. Dorito, did you have to put the punchline in the title? <laughs> Signing in, ready for the thrilling adventures of the Fallen. The Arisen, the Fallen. What are you doing? What's the We've difference? We've not been given leave to rest yet. I'm well aware of that. Thank you. <laughs> Inn's like, you won't rip me a room, Arisen? I will take one. This might be worth a read. I already read it, Sonia. I just read it. Did you not watch me? Okay, chat. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. This game... A There's actually a good deal of momentum in this game. Or at least, like, your walking speed matters the most. Why did you guys point out this ladder knowing that there's nothing up here? Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. <sighs> right you are. Chat, you're gonna, we're gonna have to get used to these memes, dude. Alright, what time of day is it? It's like halfway through night. I'm not really sure if I should just sleep or keep exploring. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. I guess we need to rest anyway, so we may as well rest until morning. It's 2,000 Gs here, though. Let's do storage first. Sort by the highest weight. I got Rotten Scrag of Beast. Okay, <clears throat> here's the thing, right? We have, maybe before we do this... Much obliged. Perhaps we should try combining some things. Some crafting. Thanks for the heads up, Ian. There might be treasure in treasure chest. Did you guys know that? So apples with apples is dried fruit. There might be other things we can use them for, but this is enough for now. Okay. Ripened apples into dried fruit will preserve it for longer, I think. We got six just regular strawberries. These are... I don't know what to do with them. If we can't cook them, should I just, like, sell them before they spoil? 
I feel like we're gonna rest and all this meat is gonna rot. I'm just gonna have a bunch of rotten meat. But yeah, we should just... You see, the hard spuds are rotting. The dried stuff, I think, should keep for a while. And we got a whole bunch of... I don't know why they did so many different types of roberint. They probably should have just made one roberint, which is a healing... I'm probably going to end up wanting some tar arrows, but I need to buy more lantern oil. <sighs> okay, back to storage. Good evening, sir. I trust. All right, what do I leave in here? I don't know why we need. Do we need 16 green warish? We're going to find more. Here's another question Is storage oh, universal? Oh, it is. Okay, good. So you can access, even if you store stuff in one city in, you can get it in another one. But yeah, I'm just going to deposit like all of the morning tide. I don't know if that stuff will spoil or not. Okay, we have two extra bows. No, I have one extra bow. So that's really heavy. I got the wake stone, which is like 0.3 kilograms. Just to go adventure, I, I'm thinking about just putting all of my like crafting materials inside my chest. What, Chad, what do you think? Copper ore can be used to enhance equipment. I don't even know how to do that yet. A bone can enhance equipment. Misshape an eye to enhance equipment. Flowers. When offered as a gift, it deepens the bond. This is just going to be so annoying to try to get out of my inventory when I, when I need it. I'm not going to remember that it's here. Rabbit pelt, we got bee skin. So much stuff. Okay, I mean, that yeah, took the weight down a lot. <sighs> Can you craft with stuff in storage? Mm, that's a good question. Probably not. I'd be surprised. Shall we get some rest then? We shall get some rest. Let us rest right now. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. As you Off should. we go then. Feeling rested, I trust. That is not the exit. All right, a new dawn, a new day. We continue our exploration of the city. That is a steep staircase. Yo, look at this square. Where is everybody? It's just early in the morning. Dude, it's the place from the trailer! Gather round, gather round! Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. Aye. Got some coin to spare your humble storyteller. Chad, I'm glad I didn't take that hairstyle, because when other people have it, it's very distinct. I figured out who my character is, by the way. I made Dr. Giro. Much appreciated. But, like, I need whiter hair. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears. Hi, got some coin. Much appreciated. <laughs> what if I what if I just give him you, all of my money? What did you think of that story? It was well told and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. 
Haven't learned much, that's for sure. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? Makes a man wonder it does. Keep an eye on him? Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears. Keep an eye on the beggar. Master storyteller. I just, just recall the little tidbit I heard from the locals. If you refer to changes in the military's makeup, I've heard the same. Indeed. Tell is, there's been a shift in the chain of command. Yeah, no idiot would give that guy money. <laughs> it is good to be busy. Who would do something like that? Got something for me? I've all manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look. Of course, I just put all of my crafting equipment up and then I see enhance equipment. <sighs> all right, take my... I don't think I want a rotten apple. I don't think I want a rotten scrag a beast or a rotten harsh bud. I think. What I do want... Okay, so I should just ditch the modest camp things because you can't even... Well, I might be able to sell them. The modest camping kit's 150 Gs, so that's basically nothing. I just gave the dude begging more than that. Let's see what he's selling, though. We got a hunter's bow that's just so much better than what I'm using in every way. I feel like it's worth just buying. We didn't find really anything in the way of dropped loot for weapons. So I have no reason to believe that I will suddenly find the weapon that I am refusing to buy for... That's not even all my money. Bloodborne. What? Bloodborne fit? I commented this before, but I thought it was funny, so I commented it again. I just said, what, wow, a dog? How do you feel now? Your posture's so bad, you look like a bird. I'm, eight, I'm like 80 years old, dude. Dot, dot, dot. That's right, chat. Aren't you 20? I mean, legally speaking, yes. 20 to 80 years old. They have a bespoke bow for 10,000. A bow of bronze and heartwood. Listen, I don't want to spend two-thirds of my income. I'm happy to get, like, a better hunter's bow, though. That's 40, almost 35 extra damage. 36 extra damage. No, 34. Math is hard. 34 extra damage and more knockdown power. I'm down with that. He also sells special arrows. All right, so if I wanted to buy um, some different arrow types. Explosive arrows are incredibly cheap. For some reason... So I feel like that's a good a good deal. I don't know if I can do the other abilities yet, so I'm not really in a hurry for that. Uh, what about upgrading Ian? Like, how do I give Ian better stuff? Do I give him a staff? Uh, it's meant to focus magical power. Let's let's buy what we've got first. Equip the stuff, and then switch over to Ian. What is he currently wielding? He's definitely got a staff. All right, his staff does like 60 strength and 162 magic power. So Anchor to Heaven is a big upgrade for him, but also so much of our money. I'm going to get him just a basic... I don't know if it's worth 1500 G for just like 11 magic damage. I'm sure that 1450 G will be nothing to us in time, so I'm just gonna. Money's there to be spent. He's not getting the best, but he's getting something. Uh, how to enhance equipment. If you have requisite materials, you can enhance your equipment at any shop. Consider enhancing your equipment according to your level and fighting style. 
there are several styles of smithing, and each one produces a different result, such as a moderate all-around improvement or a significant increase to magic or might. Choose a style that's compatible with you. So, for example, if I wanted to upgrade the hunter's bow... Required materials, none. It just costs money. It makes it lighter and do more strength. What, chat? Why is strength a stat? 160 is strength just like concussive force, basically. Does that strength just mean like kinetic energy being transferred? He's an old soul. I think you, you could say that he's a young soul trapped in an old body. More specifically. But it doesn't look like these even take materials. And they're strict upgrades. For like 14 gold. Okay, now you need a sunbloom. Which I may or may not have. So this gets lighter, four extra defense, three magic defense for like 37 bucks. I think we had cinnamon bark and I've been using it. All right, I need to start saving more crafting materials instead of just grinding them up into potions and stuff. Three extra defense on both. Also cinnamon bark. And then this is 212, but like eight extra damage is good. Four cinnamon, so lots of cinnamon bark. Just ton of cinnamon bark. Okay. And then Ian, I'm going to make your staff more better. Seven more magic damage. Copper ore. Oh, it, dude, I just put that in my chest, right? It does go with your chest. Your storage. Pretty sure we've just put all 16 copper ore in box. That's huge. For 10 extra magic damage. For two copper ore. Okay, misshape and I. We we uh, if you didn't see the end of the stream yesterday, in the last like hour, we fought the ogre. We fought a giant um, one eye cyclops guy, which was crazy. I got I got slammed with a giant stick a few times. Ooh, rabbit pelts. That's where the rabbit pelts go. The Pilgrim's Tights. I'm sorry, Ian. I'm going to try to get you something better than that, dude. <laughs> I'm going to try. All right. We don't need any of the fluted bows anymore. Nor the wooden staff. Our packs are heavier and our purse is far lighter. I don't know about that. Um... These were necessary expenses, mind. No use clinging to every last coin. You tell him, Ian. You tell him. Bjorn's Armory. I'm, I'm sorry I went around the counter. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if all you check the price, just remember... Misers die early deaths. So it's just a different... Uh, he's an armor vendor. He's the armor guy. Hey, it's Alex and Chat. What's up, Blazer420? How you doing, dude? Welcome to stream. We're doing some, some city exploration. We just got to this city uh, at the end of stream yesterday. And we're just checking it out for the first time. All right, money's getting a little tight, and I just upgraded all my stuff, so I'm just going to say I'm not going to spend more on armor right now. Unless it's for Ian. Ian can wear the wizard... <laughs> Ian can don his wizard cap. A practical piece of headgear common amongst spellcasters. You look wonderful, Ian. 61 defense, 106 magic defense. Probably worth. And then... 
meadow cloth. Or I could just leave them as is. These are like 10,000, dude. All right, let's leave them as is. Hope to see you again. Coming through. Okay, so they marked that ladder up there. <laughs> Guys. You my my squad is on a road trip right now. And they they just keep I spy with my little eye a ladder. Every single time. Like I see how you're you're supposed to get over there. Is there even treasure over there though like is it even worth trying to figure out how to navigate this course because i need to get on a roof and i don't think i can make this jump kind of almost Yeah, you really can't, like, stand on these boxes very easily. Actually, this is way too steep. On the other side. <gasps> yeah! So there was a ladder on this side to get up there. But I took the more creative approach. Huh. Who put that there? <laughs> Need anything? Oh. I see. I kind of didn't see the ladder the first time. Careful now. There is a chest down here. I don't know where I am. I hope it's worth it. Welcome boon, this fairy stone. Fairy stone? You can send us to our destination in the blink of an eye. It is not an item to be squandered. <laughs> Excuse me, citizen. Got a fairy stone. That's apparently rare. Oh, um, yes. Uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself. Uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing. No matter how they fascinate me, it isn't to be. <laughs> I just sold my bows, man! Why couldn't I have talked to you a second earlier? Well, is there a buyback feature from the vendor after you leave the conversation? Okay, this guy wants a bow. I don't know how long he'll wait here. Doesn't have a name. Okay, I'm going to write this down. I already talked to Humphrey in Vermont City. I gotta find that girl's grandpa still. Okay, um, Elf by Smith wants human bow. Okay, got it. Yeah? What is it? He wants a bow made of human. In my line of business, patience is key. All right, I feel like we just kind of jumped into the middle of the town and started exploring. Busy at the moment. <laughs> right by the fountain. <laughs> Another? Is this like a potion vendor? Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Ah, so the fairy stone we just found is worth about 10,000 gold. Good to know. A stone that can instantly spirit you back to a set port crystal from anywhere. When you're just out in the middle of nowhere and in surrounded by danger. Uh, another lantern. Maybe we, maybe we buy some oil here. Let's buy like 
two, maybe three oil. A kit that can be used to set up at suitable locations. A grass patterned camping kit, sturdy against monsters that prowl Vermundian soils. You can get like stronger camps. Gotcha. I'll try and loot, find them as loot. Some cool helmets. I feel like if you pick fighter or warrior, you're really doing it for like the look. Like the look, you know what I mean? Which is which is totally valid. Times change, but there's always coin to be made. Stop by again soon. That's cool. Let's never use it. True though. Trey, allow me to open your chest. Dude. <sighs> My companions are looting faster than I can loot. I gotta like sprint past them to get to the chest first. Also, Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Ah, uh, the ladder I couldn't reach before. <sighs> the ladder I couldn't reach before. All right, there's no way, right? There's no way that you can do this? Okay, I thought maybe you could pull the cart. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. I see it. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. I'm not very smart with navigating, dude. Just... I see where I need to be, yet I do not see how to get there. You can, dude, you can totally climb this. If the camera will stop. Okay, I'm curious how you're meant to get over there, because this is not it. And also, I'm fighting the camera a little, as you can see. Oh, the camera is making me dizzy. Don't know how to get on this roof. And when you step under these like window awnings, it the game really hates that. Because I'm pretty sure if I jump over this, it's just gonna be like. Oh, he did it! I don't know how you're supposed to get over here, but we we found a way. <laughs> Sorry for the camera goofiness. Three Jasper? I think we'd only found one Jasper before now. There we go. Ooh. Don't you get the stuff they loot? Yeah, I get the stuff they loot. It's more about the principle of knowing what's inside first. Have I seen you around? Like, I want to be the one that opens it and go, Ooh, look at that loot! You know? I want that to be me. Chat, did those of you that played, did you, that got here, did you go straight up to the dude, or did you go like me and go literally everywhere else? I am getting some performance hitching for the record, so it's not like I'm immune. It's definitely worse performance out here. Using a controller seems to mitigate the issues with that performance quite a bit. I'm still exploring the city. Nice. Yeah, it seems like there's a bit to find because there's a handful of NPCs that you just have to get lucky and talk to. Like that elf was kind of just an NPC that also happened to have like a mini quest, if you want to call it that. This is generally used as a material. There's a, they have a fishing mini game. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Chad, there's a fishing mini game. That's a fishing spot. But yeah, the new PC I think is handling it like a champ, though. I think Chad a said that place to harvest some ingredients. it was mostly like we CPU bound. Some now and use them when the need arises. 
But uh, my Intel, I think I have like a 13900K, is, is kind of handling it like a champ, I'd say. Did I turn... Am I remembering correctly? Is there a ray tracing mode in this or no? They have DLSS super resolution. That's for frame rate. Which I could turn on. Um, so I'm not using DLSS. I passed it. It's under image quality. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I have ray tracing on. DLSS was not looking good. I'll go and open the chest. <laughs> there was some fish in there. Yeah. <laughs> My treasure. No way, right? Okay. Guys, guys, careful. Ian, be careful, guys. By your commander, is it? You're scaring me, Ian. Anyway, that totally looks like a sailboat that you can just take out on an adventure. I need to start doing this more often, just telling them to wait. That way they don't try and follow me and possibly die while I walk around some grass that doesn't have anything just out of curiosity. That would probably be a smarter idea. And then tell them back to me. Or if I want to go, like, explore up there. I can just be like, chill, guys. Here to ask all of me, are you? Be like, wait there. I'm gonna go explore up this ladder. You don't all need to be up there with me, you know. I can get the dried fish and the rotten harspud. That's not loot. Then I shall remain by your side. I feel like these guards, if they were watching me hardcore parkour around the stone steps, I'm the equivalent of like an 80-year-old skateboarder in like a little park that I'm not supposed to be in, you know? And the, he, I feel like the security guards would be chasing me around, watching me hop rooftop to rooftop. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Well, first I'd have to know what you're talking about. Seeker token, there are 240 of these scattered across the land, hidden in all sort of out of the way and unexpected places. Bring them to a guild hall and you will receive special rewards now. Oh, now and then, as your collection progresses, leave no stone unturned nor corner of the world unexplored if you would complete your collection. Man, it's been a while since we saw um this this is this is the GTA 4 pigeons all over again dude look they're so tiny they're just they're just little guys and i'm are hidden in the most unlikely places i'm gonna find them all on stream A splendid discovery every single one Interesting. i shall have to inform my own master of this oh they can learn the locations of the uh, the little coins from other people who are using the pawns and then report back like strand type video game mechanics i have actually heard that the pawn ai can be insane and uh apparently they can this ladder is here for a reason your oh you, <laughs> okay reason. guys i might have to stop letting you interrupt me uh your main pawn can apparently learn from and imitate your in-game behaviors supposedly and then if someone else takes that pawn they will do those behaviors in that person's game depending on how you like approach combat and stuff The example in question, if you think that's bullshit, which maybe it is, I don't know, but the the in-question example was a video of a guy 
who had been playing obviously longer because they had access to the game sooner than than I did. Um, basically, they they said that every time there was a battle and a pawn got downed, they would sprint into combat and instead of combat rezzing, they would pick the pawn up on their shoulder run away with them, drop them in a safe distance, and then heal them, which is very smart. And then their main pawn started doing that for them. So now whenever another pawn gets downed in the middle of combat, their main pawn will go grab them and then run them back out and drop them a distance away uh, so that they can, like, tag team revive. So that could be a coincidence, but it sounds really cool. And I'm not sure what the <clears throat> total scope of that would be. How are things? Like, I don't know what the like max they could do you is. Anchoring for something. Do you stop? Welcome, good sir. My services lie in the styling of hair and the painting of faces. Did we find it? Should you so desire, I can help you find your truest self. Okay, so hairstyles 10,000 gold, makeup's 10,000 gold, markings 10,000 gold, change multiple 25,000 gold. I I am poor. Modify appearance. There it is. So modifying appearance is the consumable item that you can apparently buy in game or for DLC. I keep my prices as fair as I can afford. Capcom said that, chat. Much obliged, sir. Good day, sir. But we found where you do that. I suppose I could indulge you. I don't know what that means. What's the make of this? All right, yeah, this is the stylist. I gotta learn my way around this city, dude. I remember being over here. Okay, there's, yeah, there's the port crystal. We haven't even looked in the noble quarter yet, I, th I think. There's the exit. We checked out the armories. There's probably still a lot of building interiors that we could go in and loot, but I'm not, I'm not gonna try and like 100% it, but if I see something interesting, then yeah. The diviner's salon. And the common quarter over there. There's a tavern outside. This is pretty big. And then some estates and, and points of interest. All right, let's go. I'm assuming this is north, south, east, west. Let's go east. I want to go check out the pond guild. And see what they say. There's also a chest marked, but I think we... Did we get that one? No. No. The pawn saw that. Having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. What say we pelt one of the next foe we encounter? What's the exclamation here for, though? Don't know. There was a chest in there, but we got that one. Okay, the pawn guild. Where am I? <laughs> I have no sense of direction, dude. All right, the pawn guild is the direction I'm looking. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure what to do. Oh, me neither. There's so many things. Have you need of me? There's so much to look at. Ah, here we are. Go on, have a look. Welcome to the pawn guild. It's kind of like just a cut through. I've been here so long, I forgot why I came here. Me too. Oh, there's a desk on this side. Hi, didn't see you there. Go on, have a look. Oh, it's this dude. This is the dude. This is the dude that sells the art of metamorphosis. This is how you change the way that you look. This is your edit appearance consumable item. We found it. 
What's up, Proto Kelp? Thank you for 10 months of sub, by the way. I appreciate the 10 months of microtransactions. And Devil Owes Me Rent is here for 22. And welcome back. Thanks for dropping the tier one. And Maluda Kilo, Ice and Fire, both. Both, indeed. Um, yeah, that's 500 RC, which we've been playing this game for uh, about close to six hours now, and I only have 120 RC. So if you really wanted to change the way that you look, you're going to have to look up a guide that tells you exactly how to do it quickly and efficiently. Or, <laughs> Dude, I, I, re I responded to a tweet before the stream began that really pissed me off because the, the tweet said, um, that t Twitter bullshit, you have to pay to change your character's appearance in Dragon's Dogma 2. Reality, the first city you visit 30 to 60 minutes if you rush, you can buy the item for, quote, next to nothing. Okay? I guess I'm playing wrong because I have 120 RC, um, and it costs 500, all 500 of them, if I don't buy anything else. So I, I disagree with the claim that it is next to nothing and 30 to 60 minutes away from start. That is all, sir. <clears throat> but yeah, we've also got Rift Incense. However, can I also say I think it's hilarious that everyone is stuck with one character. And honestly, um, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> Because if you make a dude who looks like a piece of shit as a joke, good. You should be stuck like that. Like a Rust Pawn. Gary of Gary's Mod and Rust fame would never let you change what your character looks like. Okay? So you better be lucky that it's even here at all. And be grateful. I played Rust, okay? And I, I was an ugly, uh, an ugly, ugly human being for a long time. And that's just who I was. It made me unique. Streamers being spicy, always. I don't know if changing the inclination of a pawn is something I care about. It seems like it's kind of like Star Sector, where you either steady, aggressive, cautious, or reckless. That kind of thing. Disciple Spectacles. A gentle, noble air. I actually really want some of these glasses for my character, eventually. Like the, the arch- MY MONOCLE! THE MONOCLE! Okay, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I gotta get the monocle, dude. I wanted to make an old guy with this hairstyle a monocle. Many thanks. I gotta start saving. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. <laughs> Browsing was enough to scratch the itch in my case. <laughs> One day I'm going to have proper raiment. I fear I've not useful to share. Who goes there? What is this? Well met. This is the end. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the form. Much obliged. Sorry. I got I got turned around. Okay, I know where I am now. Where is the action? This is the rift stone. Oh. My bad. I'm curious what types of creations we will see today. <laughs> Chun Li. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Chat, is this an anime? I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle. I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Everything is an anime? All right, explain to me what what is that anime and is it popular? <laughs> 
Elf Girl Adventure, and yes. Looks nothing like her. Incredibly popular and well-reviewed. It's currently the most popular anime. I guess, I guess I'm old now. Very well, I shall lend you my aid. No. <laughs> you do seem to be in need of it. I was trying to leave, actually. Or, I should set a pawn quest. Chat, I've taken three other people's Wakestone shards and formed an actual Wakestone. It's time I give back to the community. I give one, I, I take three, it's good karma. Did I set it? Or is it already there? It's all, it's already there. Ian, do you have any stats for me, bro? As I understand it, it is boorish to speak when you've naught to say, so I shall hold my tongue. I can't see his stats here. Okay, that's fine. We'll look, um, out of the rift. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. Uh-oh. It is said there is an illness pawns can contract beyond the rift that inflicts unspeakable harm on those around them. What the hell? As it progresses, the pawn gradually loses all self-control, and in time will even cease to heed the Arisen's commands. That sounds most unpleasant. I do hope we shall remain free of it. They're saying the pawns might rebel? That's crazy. They get an illness that relinquishes control? They say the Sovereign's up in the palace, recovering from his battle wounds. Seems driving away the dragon took quite a toll on our liege. Tell is, the beast's flames burnt him black as tar. It is a right miracle he yet lives, if you ask me. I've got to earn my coin while I'm still able. They get free will. I don't, I don't know if it's free will or aggressive it's zombie will. Me, are you? Where's the music being played? Oh, the tavern. My bed, Fresh fruits for sale. Get them while they're here. Shipments like these, few and far between. I've heard there's a means to tell if someone who claims to be arisen is in fact the real thing. See, there's an oracle okay. up in the palace. She, we talked about this. We discussed this already. Oh, it's you! Uh, tough crowd today, huh? Nobody's here, but you're still jamming. I respect that. I like to think I give people a reason to smile. Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? <laughs> can I can I get you an appetizer? Uh, buy around two thousand gold. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the it's a finest bit early. brews in all of Vernworth. It's a bit early. We just kind of got our day started, and it is... Actually, never mind, it's in the evening now. Maybe I'll come back and buy a round just to see what happens. Alright, one of the... Okay, guys. Not all at once. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's actually basically five o'clock here. We spent oh, like a whole in-game day just walking around. Ooh. I'm surrounded by winches on all sides. Sometimes there's nothing, but you know what? You can't have treasure in every single side room, otherwise it stops being special. You gotta space it out a little bit. I like that they have this open air tavern. That's pretty cool. Just with the like pillars. You just walk in. I feel like this is not good when it rains though. The rain kind of goes down all the stairs. 
and then pools inside there. Why is the player character so much taller than the rest of them? I mean, I'm not though. Ian McShane is five foot seven in real life, so he's five foot seven in the game. And then I made my character kind of tall. I'm a little hunched over, so I might be about as tall as her. But yeah, Ian McShane's just the five foot seven, and I might I made my character a little bit tall. He's like a tall, old man archer guy. <laughs> a little hunched over, yeah. Alright, back- somehow I always end up back in the inn. I'm going- I think I'm going in circles a little bit, and somebody's stuck. Sonya's stuck. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Are you Perhaps telling me- new discoveries await us above. Are you sure I haven't already gone up that ladder? I don't trust you guys. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? They do be spotting lots of treasure, though. Oh my god. A fairy, fairy stone? stone in hand, we can travel wheresoever we please. I got two, we dude. Must save it for a time of dire need. Okay, it's hard to avoid sliding down this. Here's what I'm gonna do. Chat, you think I'm gonna die if I jump from this roof to that roof? <laughs> we're good, we're good. What should I do? Yo, they've actually got some pretty good loot. I feel like we've already climbed that one, yeah. They got some pretty decent loot here. I'm worried about my dudes getting stuck, but... That notwithstanding... Who's this? Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? You have lost sight of your path, but I can point the way. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. Chat, would you trust someone who's planning on divining your future whose name is also Ursula? I have seen your path. May these words guide you true. Consider thy path with a cautious eye and an open mind, lest the light of revelation forsake thee. You've my gratitude. Thanks for the fortune cookie. I'll give you another one. I have seen your path. May these words guide you true. Okay, I just paid you for the exact same fortune You've cookie. My gratitude. Hang on, you only have a thousand printed copies of this one statement, don't you? If the way forward is shrouded to you, I can offer guidance. It is lovely to see you. Wait. Is she Toad? To help you find another moon? Oracles are useful allies in a chaotic world. Their guiding sight allows them to impart wisdom to the Arisen, illuminating the path they ought to follow or revealing the course of action they should next take. If a quest has you at an impasse or if you have lost your way on your adventure, pay a visit to the Oracle. You might get a hint that will point you in the right direction. I see. She is. She is like trying to help you find more moons in Mario. Camera. Camera's fine. <clears throat> okay, so we should actually go because I think I just went in a large circle. And probably checked out most of this stuff, but from different angles. Minus a couple of interiors. And I'm sure some more hidden chests on the outskirts, because I did not go, like, over here, I'm pretty sure. Or does it... No, I did. I did. We went to the dock. But what is this? This looks so climbable. <laughs> it was not.
Okay. You look like you have dialogue. If I lose my next shipment to bandits, nope. I'm done for. You look like you have dialogue. Heard of any ways to make some easy coin? No? Shame. Chat, do you know how tempting it is to pick up every single pawn and yeet them over the cliff? The state of things makes my lot rather difficult. But I don't I don't want to go to jail. So I'm trying to avoid it. Seems my humming would be unwelcome here about. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, lads. Going in circles. Sure what to do. I am sure what to do, but I choose not to do it. This is where we started, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is where we had the conversation with the dude. Alright, we got we got in full circle. Now a quest. Well, actually it's nighttime. Which is good because we're we're supposed to meet this dude at night, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what if we just go check out Walter's Tavern to the east? Oh no, the outside. <laughs> Should you espy any large monsters fallen on the road, I ask that you leave them undisturbed. Clearing the high roads of such obstructions falls under the military's purview, you see. But our hands are oft over full with culling and escort missions, so that we must trust to nature to run its course. The bodies will decay over time, and the winds will sweep away the remains. It only takes a matter of days. Game mechanics? Just between you and me, my survey missions through the caverns and ruins have been more trouble than I foresaw. My task is to seek out items of potential value and research them. And was going well too, till I found that door. That door. It is an enigma, forged of strange materials and covered in queer etchings. But my orders are to get to the bottom of it. So back and forth I go on an endless string of expeditions. I grow wearier with every trip. But no closer to an answer. The door. Wait, I shouldn't go out because it's nighttime. Well, this is the this is the cropper's quarter. Have we purchased all that we require. We ought to review the contents of our packs just to be sure. Dude, there's people out here farming and stuff in the fields. Don't think you're safe just because you're in the city. Uh oh. Monsters have gotten bolder of late and more ferocious. <laughs> Shouldn't you guys be heading in then? What? Got an interest in farming, have you? What if they put one of those 263 coins in the middle of this field? <laughs> and you don't you don't know which section of the field that it's in. You just gotta walk around like clicking grab on everything. Just mash B. A common reward. Frustratingly so. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Yo, I'm stealing gold from under people's pillows, man. 480 gold? Someone was stashing that for later. Alright, we need to get out of here. It is actually nighttime. No dawdling. The arisen calls. Here's no my here. question, though. If I, like, am out here, will they attack, number one? Number two, those, like, turrets with the the giant harpoons on top. That's not harpoons. Uh, ballistas are pretty badass. They're like the clouds hanging low over the mountains. It is getting hard to see. Tooth fairy money. Oh, the tooth fairy came. <laughs> I also like that the UI disappears after you idle for just a sec. It gives you more of a cinematic view. Okay, but yeah, I was going to go to the... the capital always sets the mind at ease. Let me see where we are. 
I was going to go over here to this guy. I can get there. One can only withstand the perils of the open road for so long. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's I not worth agree. it. Let's go find our man. Watch the beggar as he goes about his day and see if you can find out how he makes his coin. Well, I'm sure he's gone now. Maybe I just need to follow him at night when he leaves. Visit the Star Drop Inn and confer with Captain Brandt. Let's do that one. Now that night has fallen. Well met. Looking to make a purchase. Are you just like a traveling vendor? Who sells a bunch of ingredients? Hope to see you again. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. <laughs> Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. They're like, that's that's a very millennial thought. Like, Who are I... you there? Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. Sure, I was actually going there. They got tired of waiting for me, chat. The Vocation Guild. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Change vocation, acquire skills, give seekers tokens. I only have one, but here you have go. Have you found any of the items we discussed perchance? I we didn't discuss them, but here you go. Oh dude, there's a battle pass? <laughs> For the coins. Uh, at tier one, you get a fairy stone. Tier five, a ring of vehemence. Vehemence. A ring of triumph at 15 turned in. Boost max health, max stam, and the max amount of weight the wearer can carry. Uh, dousing spikes. Daggers with hilts meant to recall snakes on the hunt. They emit a glow when near treasure. Uh, a simple metal circlet adorned with a small jewel over the brow that resembles a faintly twinkling star. It gives you defense. Oh, yeah, that's like a helmet, basically. Circlet. Ring of profusion. Max weight goes up. Champion's mantle's a sick cape. A mantle that exudes self-assured majesty. Uh, when offered... As a gift, it deepens the bond between giver and receiver. Charming corset. A garment of thin cloth that hugs the wearer's frame, drawing tightly over the waist and hips. So, if it, Chad, if you want your waifu to be wearing the charming corset, you're going to need to find 150 coins for the... RP bathing suit. Okay. Legion's Might. A staff with a piece of the Arisen's heart. Pawns who equip it revive of their own accord when rendered immobile. And finally, the Ring of Endeavor. Boosts discipline gained from defeating foes. Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? <laughs> you guys uh, have it a bit rough right now. Okay, let's see. We have uh, 1,800 plus discipline for our character. Uh, the way that this works is we could actually change our vocation if we wanted to. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong. But we could change our vocation. It would keep our current rank on Archer. We just learned about Warrior and Sorcerer, so these just got unlocked. 
So if you wanted to be a warrior or a sorcerer, you probably had to get here to do it. But you can change and change back once you have them acquired, right? Mage looks so good, like he's leaning on his staff. Yeah. He's using it for support. Be good if it was like a little further out. I'm not saying that I won't try a different class. I'm pretty happy with Archer right now, to be honest. Um, I might try Trickster when we get it, though, which I don't want to know when that is. If, if we come across it, then great. If not, that's okay. I'm, I'm fine being an Archer guy. Sorcerer would be like my fourth choice. I think. I wish you could preview their abilities a little bit before choosing it, though. Yeah, Thief, you can't tell if he's got a bad back or if he's sneaking around right now. But yeah, I'm ha I'm happy with Archer. So what do I what do we got for weapon skills? I haven't even tried exploding shot yet. I forgot that we had it to be honest. I want to try sweep shot. It's basic, but it might be good. Just like a little split attack. Keen sight is like super zoom, and then tarring shot covers him in tar. All makes sense. Let's try sweep shot on A. And then Swift Knock is the one that we wanted. Basically, that lets me do uh, faster, faster arrow shooting, whether I'm aiming or not. And then for Augments, we could take increased damage dealt by your attacks when targets are not in battle stance. So if they're like knocked down or staggered or something, then we'll go ahead and pop that in. And I still got discipline left over so it seems like it'd be pretty easy to try a different vocation i'm assuming you do still need to be a certain rank to get different skills and you need to use that vocation to rank up so that makes sense uh ian we can also change if we didn't want ian to be a mage and we wanted him to be like a proper sorcerer now we could change him over so at the moment he's got ice ice spoon Make uh, ice attacks for self or friend. He's got a little shield. He's got lightning strikes. Pow, pow, pow. Strike, strike, strike. And then he's got flamethrower hand. He can also levitate. Manipulate the caster's weight through magical means, allowing them to float temporarily. That's cool. Levitation's pretty sweet. His new abilities could be Halidum. A magic sigil that cures the caster and allies of debilitations. The best part about this game's like support system with the pawns is... You know how you never want to equip support spells because you're not going to remember to use them? Having an AI dude who just has support spells is great because they'll cast them. <laughs> like, I trust the AI to know when I have a debilitation and use the debil debilitation spell without me having to put in some input. Okay, that's the only, like, this one's new. Conjure a giant pillar of ice that lingers and can serve as a stepping stone. After, I don't know if I'd describe that as a pillar. Oh, that's the pillar. After the pillar is destroyed, a grabbable block of ice will remain. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That'll get you to some places you can't otherwise reach. Oops. Okay, but yeah, if I wanted to change, or at least acquire Sorcerer so we could check that out, he does look awesome in those clothes. The thing is, do we want Ian to be our support, or do we want him to be not support? All right, how do you acquire these again? Do I have to do like a quest first? Because these ones are red. These ones are not red.
Certain vocations are unavailable at present, save to applicants who already possess the requisite equipment. I have to have the Let equipment. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Okay, I have to have the requisite equipment. Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. Is that some treasure behind you? He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. First, we must find out how to procure what we require. Then our search can begin in earnest. Excuse me. I need this. A ring of exaltation. We can give, we should have enough rings now to give Ian McShane one. After you, Arisen. Ian, I'm gonna give you a ring, bro. Slightly boost max health. I've already got one. Enjoy your HP buff. You can actually see how much HP it buffed him because now he's missing some. So it's a decent amount. All right, where's the ladder? You guys are going to make me miss my appointment. Did we not already climb up there, dude? We definitely climbed up there. Right? Yeah, because I jumped across to the other roof. You guys are trying to trick me. I go where fortune whispers, friend. Heard some people in the tavern talking about a shop or the rest of the town. A scrap store, they called it. Doesn't sound like much, but apparently you can have forgeries made there. Reckon that grimoire I lost all that coin on was one of them. Mayhap I could earn it back by making some forgeries of my own and selling them off to collectors. A shop or the rest of the town, a scrap store. Interesting. Okay, is that the guy who wants to speak to us? First of all, can I get a round? Greetings. Welcome here. We conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. It Wait, no. Thought, I'm always a pleasure. I'm in the wrong place. This is not the tavern. The tavern is over here. It's dark outside, and I'm still not used to the layout of this city. Here we are. All right, before Welcome we to talk to this dude. Serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Buy a round for everyone. What a delight. Uh-oh, what have I what have I done? There's no shame in living life with its pleasures. Hooray! What did that do? Other than break all of the tableware. You feeling generous, sir? Want to lend a hand? You're eating. All right, let's talk. Your matter is not a matter for Oops. Prime ears. Pray. Let us speak out here. Okay, he just thought to call us. We don't want to talk about this at the bar. I was expecting a real FMV of the mug. True. Ah, yes, the secret table. As I informed you, uh -oh. last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. Have we determined if that's a Disco Elysium narrator? It does sound a lot like him, and I thought that yesterday, yeah. But I don't know. Sometimes it sounds just off. None would be able to deny that you are the true Arisen, then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. But he has emphasis on, like, the same letters. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, 
you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. Tell me of monster calling, tell me of the Queen Regent, tell me of the Magistrate. All right, start with the monsters. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to call monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? Of course. I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Saurians. Dinosaur bros? Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. We have been charged with the felling of monsters. Oh, I thought we were just going to see naught but success on the path that lies ahead. I thought we were going to talk about the rest of the stuff. We want for information. Mayhap we ought to speak with this Sir Roderick. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. <laughs> well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. I'm trading Sonya out. That's a Capcom creation. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Yeah, you didn't tell me about the rest. Tell me of the Queen Regent. You will need to infiltrate the palace to gather uh -oh. evidence of Deezer's Am misdeeds. I taking on too many quests at the same time? I Maybe I shouldn't have had this. something so dangerous of you. Yet I fear we have few other options. I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now. Though... I have yet to uncover so much as a whisper of her plots. Would that I could undertake the task myself, but my station prohibits me from reckless action. <laughs> I love how this dude is like, listen, I can't do it or else I might lose my job. You, yeah, I know. You're the guy that's supposed to be the majesty, the sovereign, the, the ruler. You have nothing to lose. Why don't you go sneak around there? And if you get caught, I mean, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My job's so much more important than yours, your majesty. Okay. Does anybody in chat know what happens if you decline this? Does the quest disappear forever? Or can you just talk to him again and get it again? Is what I want to know. I'm worried that if I accept it... I'm going to have taken a timed quest and need to complete these faster. I'm just going to accept and hope for the best. It sounds like a main quest, so I doubt it's timed. I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray use that time to conduct your investigation. Pray, follow me. So what you're saying is I shouldn't talk to him about the other thing. Timed quests are marked with an hourglass? There oh. is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Okay, but it's in the quest log, but not necessarily here. Hold on, let me check my quest log Do first. Do not forget that we work to... Yeah, so none of these. There is much we ought to tend to. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time has Deezer demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time has the magistrate refused her, for he's loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Our laws dictate that your majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? <laughs> Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? The magistrate, the guy that they put in jail, he'll vouch for you. And uh, forget that they put him in jail. They'll definitely trust what he has to say. 
I've prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray. Take this. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Pray thee be cautious, your majesty. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. Over here, if you please. Dude, Sonya, I'm I'm having a conversation, but let's go. Sonya wants me to follow. We got some we got some dynamic AI going on right now. We're here, and none the worse for wear. Is this Roderick? Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim, truly. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den from the tell of it. Their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. If aught were to go awry, would weigh heavily on my heart. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold can compare to a fellow life, eh? <laughs> this is great, Roderick. I like your outlook on things. You know, people are more important than things. He's right. All right, we've got our charges and we've got our missions. And we know what we have to do. We need only find where to do them. There's still an entire noble quarter to check out, so... I say we do that later. Oh man, it's out there, huh? Here's what we got. We got... Procure your own weapons for the vocations to unlock, which seems important. The magistrate is further... So that's all part of the town as well. The Okay, that's crazy. The entire time we've explored, we've only explored this section of town. And there's still the Noble Quarter, all this down here, and the slums outside, and a few things like along the road. But yeah, knowing when a quest is timed will be very important, I think. So that's good to know, chat. Uh, Deesa's plot, monster calling and vocation frustration are the same. Call the goblins at the mine, aid the soldiers west, and locate the soldiers with delivering freight on the eastern edge. So that is a multi-parter. And then watch the beggar, and we need proper tools for the claw them in the shape. It seems we must venture to Trevor Mine. I believe it lies to the northwest of Vernwood. All right, I'm getting rid of you, though, Sonia. Ray. Allow me to show you the way. No. You're well, a Capcom you guy. Exist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. We're gonna get someone that's not a Capcom dude. Okay, so we can either get a thief or... I can't get an, another archer chat. I can't let the AI outshine me. We can get a second mage there's no thieves does everyone hate thief <gasps> no i know what it is everyone's playing thief therefore no one's creating thief companions that's what it is i i bet you that's exactly what's happening i wonder if i can search for pawns now Yo, the search actually works now. Look at all the... Dude. Kratos the thief? Why? I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer <laughs> combat's thrill. Why did they make Kratos a thief? And they gave him the same voice as I gave Ian McShane. Okay. Somebody actually gave their person armor, dude. Q. 
Kyoko. This person is probably the most kitted for a level nine. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Arisen details. Michael. Pawn quest. Defeat Cyclops for 10,000 Gs. It's a pretty good quest. For the Chaos Blades. Oh. Yeah, no, this pawn's pretty sick. <sighs> Goodbye. Eris, you can stay. Sonya, you have to go. Do I want to send a gift? This is a Cap Capcom made this. Do I have a I'm going to send rotten scrag of beasts to Capcom to voice my displeasure. No Fate response. Willing, the day will come when our paths cross again. Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so. It's like a higher pitched version of uh Arpon's voice, I think. Dude, some of these thieves got, like, the, the half mask over their face. We got the anime mask looking good. Main, that's another main pawn. <laughs> so they don't get confused. <laughs> like, hold on. Or, or is this the same one we saw, but, like, leveled up from yesterday? What does the player gain from giving a pawn quest? I think you both get stuff. The pawn gets some things. All right, anyway, we got a new one. All right. Kyoko has joined the party now. Interested in my wares? As you wish, I shall return direct. What's the time of day? Uh, it's gonna be a while before the sun comes up. Man, I don't want to spend money at the inn to rest again. So maybe we should just, like, explore a little bit more of the city until the sun comes up and then go out? Good day, sir. What might you be looking for? Perhaps. So we should go south. What is a pawn system? It's basically like your AI companion. You create one, and then they stay, like, Ian's gonna stay with us for the rest of the game. And level up, and get new abilities and armor, but also it goes into an online shared experience where you can hire other people's pawns and uh, form the party. So the other two characters are other people's pawns. They don't level up for us, but we get them at whatever level they got to in their world. And I then they heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of beasts. And then they learn stuff and tell you Truly? like Furbies. Quite. Though no definitive records remain. They're like really intelligent Furbies. In the years since the consul's passing, Queen Regent Deesa has claimed the seat of power here in Vermond. Yet just as her grace was preparing to hand the reins to her son, Regent Kin Sven, Word came of the attack on Melv. Now there can be no dispute, for our kingdom's laws deem the Arisen to be the only legitimate ruler. Poor Deesa. Tis a woeful role, the Regency. All of the responsibilities of a monarch, with none of the glory. So Ian is both with you and able to be taken by others? Yeah, he can just be taken by others and appear in other people's games. You can also just get him directly in chat. Uh, like, anyone in chat can can also use him. Because you can just go to, like, I think status. And then Ian McShane. And then right here is his pawn ID. So you can, like, type in his pawn ID. And he should come up in your game. And you can, you can hire him, take him around, teach him stuff, do his quest, give him gifts. And I think he can earn badges doing stuff with you. I don't know if he can earn badges doing stuff with other people. So, he's right there. Screenshot it. You can, you can take him in your party. Chad's like, I can't. I'm playing mage, dude. I don't want another one. Understandable. 
All right, we're in the Noble Quarter now. This time was you scarce saw any beastrums here in Vernworth, but that's changed in recent years. That's almost Ian McShane. That'd be on account of immigration, but not so. See, a child born of both races always favors the beastron. At least I've never beheld a human with a beastron parent. Oh, I suppose it might be possible, but tis unheard of. If we keep mixing, someday our kingdom will end up with more beastrons than they've got or in Batal. Well, out with it. I'm here for the lore. I'm here for the lore and whatever treasures I can find in your house. All right, you guys wait. Very well, but pray do not make me wait over long. You could hire a level 99 pawn by paying an ass load of crystals, but if they fall off a cliff, you lose all the crystals. Basically, yeah. They, once, once your pawns die, they're dead. I don't think the main pawn can permadie, though, surely. But I could be wrong. That would be really bad if you spend all that time designing a pawn and then they just yeet off a cliff and they're gone forever. 2,000 Gs! Dude is rich, chat. This is why we go to the Noble District. <laughs> this is exactly why. Okay, that's where they're hiding all the money. And also the Princess Harspuds, apparently. All right, you guys can come back now. If it's like Darkest... No, I keep saying Darkest Dungeon. If it's like Dragon's Dogma 1, crystals are a rare resource for the main game, but the post-game was built entirely around them. Um, I've been getting a, a, a small amount of them. Not very many. I think you just have to do quests with, with yours and other people's pawns. I would say. Oh yeah, we can wait on park benches to accelerate time without actually paying an inn. But if you don't pay the inn, you don't actually rest. So our health bars are almost all full. Should be fine. Another 1500 Gs and some flowers. I got a loot goblin for a bit. It's in my nature. My list of duties grows ill longer. A courtly tunic! We fess our first, like, clothes gear item. <sighs> Interesting. Uh, it has weak defense, but higher magic defense and higher knockdown. Formal raiment worn by palace attendants and visitors. None save the most ill-mannered boor would dare enter Vernworth Castle without it. Interesting. What if I give that to Ian? It's basically a downgrade for him. He looks good, but it's a bit of a downgrade. Could be part of a disguise, though. Because that just might be flavored text, though. That was like, don't you dare into the castle without this beautiful tunic. Yeah, I was gonna say Witcher 3 Emperor. The guy also looked kind of Witcher 3. Um, the Nilfgaardians. It did have a de the definite Nilfgaard vibe. Is your character sneaking? I mean, they're like... They're just old. They're old. He's just doing his best. He needs a... Maybe he should become a sorcerer so he can have a cane. To help him walk. Life is hard in Dragon's Dogma 2 World, you know? Jumping on rooftops, looking for treasure at night. 
Sneaking around. Looking for treasure. Oh. <laughs> that was a Jason Bourne jump. You have my admiration. I doubt even my own master has obtained an article so rare. <laughs> oh, man. The pawns are coming in talking shit about their own masters. I just found gold. She's like, I wish you were my master. My guy sucks. <laughs> my pawn is constantly shit talking me. Dude, we're getting some good loot though. Jasper. There might be. There's no stuff back here though. Okay. Had to check. I'm getting a little turned around though. Where am I? Okay, I believe we hit this house, this house, and this house. I'm, I'm not trying to 100%, but I'm also trying not to get lost. And or do the same, the same house multiple times. Because that'd be embarrassing. They don't look the same, but they do look the same, you know? They kind of do look the same. But some of them have like a fireplace or something. I've heard there's a means to see. Oh no, I've had this there's combo. An oracle. There's only one arisen in the world. See, look at this. Sorry to cut you off, but it turns out that the real arisen is a is a total loot goblin. Imagine bringing my guy into town, like Your Majesty, won't you rule us and lead us to an era of prosperity? And I'm just like everybody, come to the castle and empty your pockets. Guards, turn those guys upside down, shake them out. I want to see the tribute right now. I will not protect your town unless I can live a life of luxury. I will only defeat the dragon after all of your homes um, have been ransacked. Courtly breaches. We have the punt. Okay, so we could potentially do like a full costume now. Minus uh, like a helmet. Ooh, fancy chest. A ring of deflection. Okay, so if we give that... Slash attacks. I'm giving that to my boy Ian. Don't, no climbing. There's actually a significant amount of just random treasure through, throughout all these. Okay, now we need to go... Down the road and to the right. Yeah, I think down here. I could wait on a park bench for morning. I'm planning on setting out, and I know we haven't killed anybody, and it's been two and a half hours. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I have a jump. But honestly, I'm having fun just exploring around. This is this is classic RPG vibes for me. Um, in that they've done a decent job of of making that exploration rewarding, where there's stuff everywhere, even if it's just an ingredient here. Or a steak there in the kitchen. And we found some really expensive... Uh, now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Of if the... you've anything edible, I'll gladly lessen your burden. <laughs> uh, we found some expensive teleportation stones. Me? Just going for a stroll. What are you doing out of bed, Sebastian? Wait, Hale? Who's Sebastian? Why did I say Sebastian? Did I just look at someone named Sebastian? Me, I'm just hanging around. Me, I'm just going for a walk. Can you go through this window? <laughs> it's dangerous. Thieves in the night. Does character height affect melee? That's a question for chat. Like melee reach? 
Your character... It's a locked door? In my Dragon's Dogma? There are some doors that can be interacted with, but cannot be opened by keys or... But cannot be opened by keys or mechanisms. This can be a matter of timing. You may find that such doors will open at a particular time of day or once you've progressed to a point in the story. Take note of the doors you encounter and try revisiting them again at a later time. <sighs> Very interesting. So what you're saying is, mark this house with a five. You can only do five? I'm gonna run out of marks. Longer limbs mean more reach. Shorter characters have smaller hitboxes. Characters with longer legs run faster, and characters with longer arms climb faster, but being tall makes you easier to knock over. Uh-oh. So, yeah, chat says very much so, then. Which is kind of awesome. I, I, I noticed that we were running out of stamina frequently yesterday. I don't know if that had anything to do with my height. Or if I was getting knocked Hi. over. What is it? Oh, it says hail. Like, as in when hail. Battling monsters, <laughs> the larger monsters are always a threat. But they are... That said... I have heard whispers of a more intelligent beast. A monster who seeks a battle of wits instead of brawn. Sounds positively fearsome, if you ask me. I only hope I ne'er encounter such a foe. But I think I'm a bit tall to be a dexterous, um, maneuverable archer guy, but that's what's going to make it fun, dude. If tis not of import. Huh. Is this a trap? Am I the mouse about to go get the cheese? Must finding these be so difficult? Okay, I... Wished all our efforts weren't for naught. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Dude, I am teaching... I am teaching Eris so much stuff the next time they play. You can your your pawns can learn the location of seeker coins and tell um the original player. A ladder is it? How convenient. We ought you, to put it to good use. Where do you see that? Are you guys looking down there? Dude, that rooftop! There's like three super chests over there. Also, it's daytime. How do we get over there? I see you can go- you might be able to go from that house over there. Wait a second. This is the house we couldn't get into. All right, these these doors locked also. Never mind. When unlocking grappling hook and wingsuit. True. True. Okay, that's where I was going to try and go before down there, but not yet. Man, it's it's real hard to hundred percent this area. I'm gonna tell these guys to wait. If you wish it, I shall not move from this spot. No, no. Okay, whatever. I was gonna try and balance. Oh, <laughs> oh God. I'm alive! I'm alive. Terrifying. I did hear an actual splat, yes. This is not where I wanted to be at all. Of the gracious hand, 
Do say you'll go and see her. She's your best hope. She used to conduct research into sedatives and sleeping medicants for the army in Batal. I am certain she will. Ain't nothing but trouble lurking here. Living hard, but I don't know what to do. What to do? What to do? I have no mother or father to speak of, you see. So the nice people at the Gracious Hand take care of me. I wanted to get them a present to say thank you. And I thought a bunch of flowers would be just the thing. You're in luck, kid. Oh, the problem is, I can't seem to find any good ones. Do you think you could help me? All I need is a bunch of pretty flowers. For true. Thank you ever so much, Arisen. I'm sure you'll find the prettiest flowers that ever were. Hoi, Arisen! Have you brought me a bunch <laughs> of flowers already? I have. I have exactly one bunch of flowers. They're yours. I wonder what the squirrel of this game will be? We already found it yesterday. It was kicking a wolf in the head after it had been downed. And yeeting a deer into a river. Oh, just look at them. They're the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. <laughs> These should brighten the sisters' days. Say, would you mind terribly if I asked you another favor? You need more? See, one of my friends taught me a magic spell. It's supposed to let you meet whomever you like. Uh-oh. All you have to do is find a silver stone, put it under your pillow, and say the magic words. But there's the problem. I've been looking all over for such a stone, and I can't find one anywhere. We can't all have what we want all the time. I gave you the flowers. You're very needy. Would you find a silver stone and bring it to me, Arisen? For true. Okay, fine. I knew I could count on you, Arisen. I'll be waiting. I assume I don't have one, but I'm going to check. Oh, I can't find a silver <laughs> stone anywhere. Have you fared any better? Oh my god, I have one. And or I must have just got this out of that chest. Remember, remember the chest that had silver and gold. Here you go, dude. I am the nicest Majesty ever. Oh, just look how it shines! Thank you ever so much. Say, aren't you curious who I want to meet? Well, I'll tell you. My mother and father. Oh, no. I don't even know what they look like, you know. This is so sad. Not to say I'm unhappy at the gracious hand, of course. But I'd really like to meet them. Even just once. Robbing from the rich and giving to the poor uses a bow. You are Robin Hood. <laughs> I want to tell them how grateful I am that they gave me life. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh, Hi, Arisen. You'll help me again if I need it, won't you? Please say yes. Are you okay, Daphne? Why are you looking at your hands like that? Return in a few days' time. Okay. Chat, we're, I, maybe, maybe we're helping, maybe we're hurting. Hopefully they don't do some kind of crazy ritual with that. Where am I? I don't want to get distracted. I left my pawns. I already got a little distracted. I left my pawns for a reason. Because there's a ladder over here. And there's like three treasure chests on top of the tavern. But how do we get there? How do we get there indeed? All right, I need to get to that roof. Okay, there's like a little... No! Just climb over, dude! Yeah, okay. Relax, relax. Take it easy. We need to get to that 
Actually, yeah, we need to be on that ladder over there. That one. So slippery, these roof tiles, huh? When I started watching this stream, you climbed up that ladder. Three hours later, we're at that ladder again. First of all, that's not true. We haven't even been streaming for three hours. And second of all, I definitely have not been here for three hours. Okay? Also, listen, we're going to go explore before nightfall, okay? But this is simply too much treasure to pass up. I saw more treasure under the stairs. 500 gold. Bam. All right? But there's too much treasure up here to pass up. I didn't have eyes on it until now, okay? And you guys are going to go and find this in your game, or maybe it'll teach your pawns how to get up here. <gasps> no! 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 <sighs> Shit, not again. <laughs> Oops. I forgot that there was a gap there. I may have wheeled to pay a visit to Travo Mine. And search for the armorer's wares. Well met, sir. I can guide you there, if you wish. Uh-oh. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. <laughs> this ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. What time of day Perhaps is it? New discoveries await us above. Where did this save? Did this save before or after I just did the quest with the other person? If it makes you feel better, I just fell off of my chair laughing. Oh, I'm glad you think that the death of the Arisen is funny. Okay, it did save after a visit in a few days time. This is the only hope these people have to be saved from the dragon, okay? And you're laughing that they're dead. Thousands will die. Tens of thousands will die. Pawns are also continuously goading me into climbing ladders. I've heard some interesting tidings. I think they think town. it's funny when I die like Regarding that. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes. It would seem the Queen Regent has made significant alterations to the chain of command. Okay, I don't think you get up here like this. Also, this is not where I want you to be in. You guys all relax. There's definitely no way I jump over there and don't slide off the roof, right? The road's at your leg. Right? I'm gonna try. How very inspired. I cannot wait to return beyond the rift and inform my own master of this. Look at it, oh, chat. Oh, I'd not have thought we'd find one here. A secret all our efforts were token. Naught. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Dude, a couple of these pawns. I just found a sword, a silver sword, a silver rapier sword, a fairy stone again, and some boots. Ring the bell. I can't. I cannot ring the bell. Do you guys see how much like pigeon poop is on these building pillars? I'm going to have to hire Ian McShane in my game and have him get all those chests for me. It's a great idea. A 
Okay, light. Wait, chat. Is that a bikini? Light boots offering a comfortable fit. The refreshing simplicity of the design helps to improve the wearer's focus. Um, only mages can wear these. So I think you know what that means. Mages and sorcerers. It's an up. It's an upgrade. Uh, like sixteen defense. 20 magic defense, 8 knockdown resistance, and some debilitation resistance. I mean, he is wearing, like, a robe. I guess it comes with undies. He's wearing pants over it. But it does come with undies. Either way, a nice upgrade. We also just got this for... is that fighters? A simple sword with a narrow blade lacks not for strength. You can... Uh, chat, you... I'm not clear on this. If I give that to Eris... And dismiss Eris, or Eris dies, do I lose all of these things that they have on their person? Or what, how does that work? No, they go into storage, it goes to the inn. I wasn't clear on that. Cause this is a massive upgrade. Like 63 strength, over 20 knockdown power. They keep equipment, you get back items. Okay, that's what I thought. They keep the equipment if they go back, chat. I'm pretty sure that it specifically told us that. If it is equipped, I believe they get to keep it. How do you do the, the guide? I don't know how to go to the uh, tutorial guide. History? Oh yeah, I think it is. Tutorial logbook. Pawns? Support pawns. You can change their equipment. Bear in mind, any newly equipped items will be gifted to the pawns master when they are dismissed. The previously equipped items will be instantly returned to the pawn's master. Furthermore, when a support pawn is dismissed or becomes forfeit, any items they held will be sent to storage. So if they're using it, it'll automatically send their old sword to the ma to pawn's master? Like... It says any newly equipped items will be gifted to the pawn's master. That means, like, anything that's equipped, according to this, even if you unequip it afterward. I don't know, I could, I could be reading that totally wrong, but that's how it reads to me. Either way, this is a huge, like, loot hoard up here. Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Let's see. What can we do without? People are going to be learning that one the hard way. I love how they're all just sitting over there, waiting for me. Okay, come with me. Uh, I got mo all most of the loot that I really wanted. We can go do some exploration now. The <gasps> watch the brazier guy. Let's 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 head out. You wish me to return at once, master. I could use a heal, actually. I've, I've already taken some damage from dying. <laughs> I'll heal myself. With a salubrious draught. Then again, gifting another player a sword you don't need is nice. Reminds me of gifting equipment in Death Stranding. My fear is that... their level doesn't update for me. Right? My fear is that, like, Eris's player could be at level 22 right now. But the copy of Eris that I have is stuck at level 7. And they might have already been, like, way beyond that point in their game or something. 
All right, let, let's head out. Go do some adventuring in the world. We've got a quest and we've got need of adventure and combat. But I mean, yeah, it's, it's a cool, it's a good sword that arguably I should maybe equip. The issue is, it doesn't tell me how much money it's worth. I'll think about it. If I find a trader again out here and I compare the price, if it's like not that much money, then I'll just give it to them. Uh, perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only <laughs> half a day of service. <laughs> now there's a thought. He's, I think they have the same voice. I need to get rid of that guy. He just complained about getting dropped. I'll give him something to complain about. Did I see? We have found the material. Goblins, master. Oh, oh, oh God. Not bad. Plenty more where that came from. Not a bad one. Get him, dude. The lightning strike. Of course, I instantly rank up and unlock new abilities right after we lose leave town. Because why wouldn't I? <clears throat> What's up, Tuna Man? Plentiful hereabouts. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. All right, who did we just save over here? Well, that wasn't the homecoming I envisioned. I knew the village would be in a bad way. But ne'er did I expect to see an entire bask of saurians picking out a bones. Indeed, what to do? Sorry to interrupt, uh, guys. What a bother. What's this all about? I thought you guys might have a quest or something since you're down here and there's just random goblins under the bridge. <sighs> Thanks, Tuna Man, for the sub. I appreciate the 48 about months. Time we pressed on, wouldn't you say? That's a lot Master. of months. Chocolate cake also for 46 months, also a lot of time. Welcome, chocolate cake. Proto kelp, thanks for 10 months a little bit ago. Welcome back. We're just uh, leaving the town, doing some exploring. I gotta try my new abilities. Let's just test this one out. How do you do that one fast? If I do that. Okay, I don't have to aim if I do that. I mean, I have to aim, but like... I wonder if that'll aim for me or not. I love the pawns. I was worried they were going to be less of a meme than the first game, but they have not disappointed. Yeah, I've enjoyed them too. They are repetitive, but I haven't really found it annoying yet. You're going to regret that. Who's this other party of dudes? What's happening? None of my pawns are attacking them. We're all of differing vocations, Hel aren't we? It is a tad inconvenient that we can't share equipment. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. What's your problem? Are they just this is like a different Dragon's Dogma team. Best not be bothering me for no reason. <laughs> Watch yourself. I'm not someone you want to cross. This is actually a full party. Oh, I keep your distance. They didn't like that I have my weapons out. But there were like legit threats over here. Okay. It's very strange. Also, I hear a, a magical sound. Do you guys hear? Very well, but pray 
do not make me wait over long. All right, come with me. Just in case something bad happens up here. Very, very, was it a harpy? But it was like a spirit. I could have sworn it was like a, like a, if a resident of this world dies, it is not necessarily the end, for the Arisen has the power to revive using a wake stone. Bear in mind that the bodies of the dead are not left to the mercies of the elements, but will in short order be taken to a morgue or charnel house in one of the larger cities. I'm not going to revive a random guard, but it's so sad that that person is permadead, apparently. Someone killed a guard in this very turret. And I fear I... Hasn't letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Early Griffin gets the worm, as they say. <laughs> I'm going down here! Go! Get those guys! The Arisen has been put to <laughs> oh no! Kyoko, Ian! Ian, help me! Ian! I'll save you! <laughs> Whatever takes you, I got this guy! It's so loud! Keep on like that and we'll be done here soon enough. They're going through! To put me to sleep again! <laughs> Guys! Wake up! Kyoko's dead! My magic to chill our bones to the bone. Kick! Oh my god. Give me a risk. I shall see to it this does not happen again. Babe! <laughs> Wait, did I just use... I didn't use my wake stone, right? I might have. No, that wasn't a wake stone. Carried him up to you. Yeah, they like... They learned how to fall off things from you. <laughs> did Upon just carry the corpse to you so you could revive him? Yes. I'm honestly doing my best, guys. I know that this is my job. There's one under the stairs! This is a powerful weapon. A single bolt loosed from it would carry a tremendous lethal force. <laughs> oh -ho! I can think of all manner of uses for a contraption such as this. Might we not lay a trap for our enemies? Nice. Ho ho! Stop sleeping on the job. Yeah, I think we know how that random guard died. Close quarters harpy combat. We'll want to make it over there, but how to close the distance? If we grab hold of our foe in flight, might it not carry us where we want to go? Are you serious? Someone in chat suggested that yesterday, and I was like, I don't know if you can do that, because I tried grabbing a harpy. What is Kyoko doing? Right. 
Just follow me. Okay. Chat, what did I loot in the chest? A new ring. All right, hold on, Kyoko. No! Pressing B is dangerous, dude. I'll go and open the chest. Igneous melody. A tome for a new spell, perhaps. Usable by anyone. Invokes fire boon. Enchant a weapon with fire. Reduce accumulation of the wearer's sleep value. Huh. So you don't get the lost meter as easily? All right, Kyoko is leading us somewhere. I'm just gonna follow for now. There's still a chest on the map. Did I not open it? All right, I'm coming. Yeah, if you please. Uh oh, bro. <laughs> Kyoko, bro. Kyoko, bro. Keep running, Kyoko. A cyclops, where it's hulking might. Ian! It's weakness and our strength. Heal yourself, Ian. Ooh, right in the skull, dude. This spell will empower you with elemental magic. All right, I got the new abilities, chat. It's new ability time. Exploding Our shot. Foe stumbles. Just one more push ought to bring it down. The moment of victory is at hand. Let us finish this. Explode already! It's... <laughs> You make it explode! <laughs> Climb, you bastard! Now there's a foe I have a spell in my main. One of the targets marked by my own master. I could use some help. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you alright? Ian McShane's Focus. down! I'm out of stamina and the, the dude is frozen! So it goes. Who the hell is this? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Bro, I might need some heels. I'm dead. That easy. It's that easy, dude. <sighs> I'm not gonna use the wake stone. Take me back. That's my fault for following a pawn. Okay. That's what I get. That definitely looked like a hit that would kill you. It does, yes. Chat, I can't just buy more wake stones with DLC. I've already used all the ones they have for sale uh, in the DLC marketplace. Okay, it's not unlimited. Pay a visit to Travo Mine and search for the armorer's wares. Very well, I'll guide you there directly. I'm just kidding. By I the way. enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Why are you talking to me, Elva? You are a higher level than Eris. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Eris is level seven, though. I'm a fighter by trade. Send me to the vanguard, where I might put my strength to full use. 
What are you guys doing in my game? Okay. Where was I? Oh, yes. Um, I'm at half health, dude. That's my problem. I'm, like, locked at half health. I'm the weakest one on the team. It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say? Master? They're fighting somebody. The trees can fall? There's a dude over there. All right, I'm helping. Well, never have I seen such a its size alone makes it worth vanquishing. I got him in the pit. This spell will empower you with elemental magic. I got exploding arrows in the face. Well, it seems we have enraged our foe. Correct, this opponent makes for easy prey. Cliff? Where you going, dude? <laughs> Stuck! Stuck! I ain't gonna give you the chance to leave, dude. Stam. Everyone chill. Time for another exploding arrow. Oh, did I hit him? Yes. Ooh, oh! Are you serious? He yeeted his weapon? He's trying to find me. I missed. He's got health? Did he just heal? Why is this so scary? Can you guys push him over? Look at it. The beast can scarce stand. A well-placed strike ought to send it gazing skyward. The moment of victory is at hand. <laughs> Let us finish this. Was, it's just the easiest shot. Uh, it's just the best, easiest place to shoot, dude. Get him! Kill him! I grant you ice fight. Uh-oh. We got problems. Help. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly do. I think that I'm getting the range is losing a little bit. You must stay clear of fire. I'm doused in oil? Kyoko, get that guy! He picked up his his weapon! There's gobbles! Help. Over here!
Kill that guy, dude! They did it. Splendid. This blow was marked to be held by my master from beyond the rift. Now I can report a successful hunt. Not a bad idea. He had, yeah, he had like two health bars. I gotta get a little bit better at killing those dudes. I got 10,000 gold for completing the pawn quest. So that's pretty good. Masterful running away. Well, the problem is... My tank can't taunt. I guess they do have shield summons, which is supposed to get the attention of nearby targets. But yeah, I have aggro, and I only have half a health bar, so I'm a little right. squishy. Just follow me. Now what? Did I want to loot this dude? Also, there's a campsite here, dude. We should absolutely camp. Are you in combat? This is generally used as a material. <laughs> the different combinations of materials result in different. Oh! Experience. That's a guy. Be most effective against this mode. The oh. entrenched. Kyoko like tackled him and then stabbed him to death. That was thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. Your pawn almost lit you on fire? I think I would have been fine. We need to turn around. There's too much stuff to explore, dude. We need to make a camp because my health is very low. It's rather high. It might be beyond our reach. They cut off his tail. Using the go command immediately after a pawn makes a suggestion will prompt them to follow through with their idea, whether to guide you to a location or assist. Pawns are helpful, and allowing them to guide you will doubtless benefit you. Mayhap we ought to pay a visit to Travo Mine and search for the armorer's wares? Very well. I'll guide you there directly. How about... Vanguard is yours. Lead on. Relax. For a minute. Everybody relax. I wonder if her personality maybe means she doesn't taunt as often. That's possible. Oh, the bee steak rotted. We have another one. <laughs> That's the good one, dude. That's the juicy one. Look at that bit rate. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Indeed. Surely we've time for a short kip ere we continue on our merry way. I, need, I do need to rest. I'm the weakest old man amongst you. We'll rest till morning. Capcom does love food, and they're trying to do it in different ways. Good morrow, everyone. Off we go, then. I hope you slept well. All right, who is still got like a pawn quest? Pawn quest, travel together for a day and night, travel together for a day and night, completed, defeat Cyclops. Okay, so I can go ahead and just change Eris and Kyoko whenever I want, basically. And indeed, it would be wise to do so. Yo, these are actual, like, physical entities in the world, and they take time to, like, rot or be eaten, basically. Chat. How does he know? Uh, perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but different masters favor different pawns. 
One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. <laughs> now there's a thought. Now that I think about it, the mage in my party is kind-hearted and constantly does healing spells, while Ian is straightforward and doesn't heal as often. It does appear to be the case that, yes. I will say he does seem to use a lot of offensive spells, which makes sense. All right, gobbos. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. <laughs> oh, I missed. Nice ice buff, though. Yeah, the, the movement for the archer is really fun. That was e well fought. Even when you miss. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt <laughs> this triumph will spur us into the next. We can go either path here. I'll take the more obvious path first, and maybe we can come back on the other path. My master keeps falling off roofs and making me heal him. Look, I'm just an archer boy. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? <laughs> it is a tad inconvenient that we can't share equipment. He keeps... I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. Uh oh. Oops. I did that a little early. You may have underestimated this point. Trying to heal up. Oh, just a moment. Was I flying? Yo, the lightning strikes just shredded. He looks cool, too. The lighting is amazing. How would sharing a sword between three pawns help? Maybe, like, hand-me-downs, you know? If you get an upgrade, then the next person gets the most power- the, the next most powerful one. Do you have arrow ammo? No, your stamina is basically your ammo. It's very stamina-gated. A horn, another, a melody. <laughs> How? My magics are at your disposal. Who are we fighting? Where are we going? Freshly rested as we are. Oh! This battle ought to be. Not what I want to be. Not where I want to be. Try not to get hit, lest all that fear go to waste. You're so. There we go. That's teamwork. Hold him down while I power shot him right in the head. That's the stuff. I hear another one, though. Possibly through the ravine. Kyoko with the wrestling moves. Is it Kyoko that's been kind of tackling them? Or was it Eris? I couldn't tell. I wasn't paying that. I saw someone doing it. Apples and strawberries. Seems vaguely similar to Monster Hunter Bow, but not quite as over the top. I have uh, a few more maneuver maneuverable uh, tools in the utility toolkit than the Monster Hunter Archer. The Monster Hunter Archer is a bit more stationary, I feel like. It does have the, like, sweep that lets you jump backwards. Like, that's cool. I wanted to go back here because I thought I missed something. I miss some goblins. Because, yeah, I can do stuff like this, right? Ah! 
Okay. I shan't allow any further harm to come. Let the elements in our strikes. Big boy. This creature is hard and stone, making it ideal for tossing at our other foes. So yeah. It's a it's a little different because of that, like being able to uh, jump kick off of people, shoot them as you get away, create more distance, as well as um, this just looks badass every time you're just like, I'll gather this. It might be of use. <laughs> now that I can shoot faster. Can hold X, though, unfortunately, because that'd be cool, too. It seems like um, you can do a little bit more from close range in this because you don't have to aim every shot yourself. I don't think Monster Hunter has like a like a quote unquote auto aim feature, but I could be wrong. Okay, where am I versus where was I going? I was is this where I was going? I thought I was going somewhere else and we got distracted. It's easy to do in this game. There's a lot of stuff you can gather. Ooh, a campsite and the riftstone. So these riftstones that we ourselves repair have a chance to summon a high level pawn instead of a uh, Special Riftstone, I believe. I'm. It, it might not be a chance. It might just be certain ones do. For all I know. Who are we in combat with? My magics are at your disposal. You good? You want me to just snipe these guys from way over here? I could do that, but let's see what this is first. You also get RC from, from activating these, which is great. I don't think I've seen special arrows. I, I've i used um the explosive arrows against the ogre. But also, you have to learn an ability to use the special arrows. You can't just use them... Just because you have them. Level 18? Alright, that's too hardcore for us. This is the Riftstone of Noontide. They have some pretty high level dudes here. I believe it's time to do a little exchange. Kyoko's quest is done. Eris is getting a little lower level. I thought that that person's name was Monka, but it is Monica. I'm definitely starting to see some more armored people. I'm starting to think that Ian needs uh, an upgrade. <laughs> Monica's. Monka's. Chat, I have I I haven't even played this, but I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Does anyone recognize this character? <laughs> Let me solo her. Okay, um... We have 150 RC. I'm actually just not going to spend any, so we can get Svetlana for free. So I guess we're looking for like a level 11. All right. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. Inclination simple. I don't remember 
what that means. Curious, earnest, and adventurous ex enjoys exploring and gathering items. What is Ian? I don't remember what Ian is. They also want to defeat a Cyclops. Not a good reward, though. <laughs> Are we going to hire them based on their reward? <laughs> Has it come to this? All right. They might need some help, dude. They might need some help. Will be a joy to serve one so gallant. All right, fine. Goodbye, Eris. Lord Carnage, I wish you well on your journey and adventure. Ten thousand G's for defeating a Cyclops is pretty good compared to this doofus's reward. Oh wait, no, that was the Wakestone shard. I'm gonna send them a gift because I am so nice. I could, I could gift them the Silver Rapier and hope that they actually still need to use it. That would be, like, very nice of me, but I'm not, I'm not feeling that nice. Chat, what makes a good gift? How about a... Harspud Roberant? <laughs> or mincemeat roberant. A rotten strawberry. Min maxing pawns, shaking my head. Shaking my head, shaking my head. You know, I'm never gonna cure sleep debilitation with waking powder. Here's a waking powder. I'm just gonna give them potions. At least I go knowing I fought to the best of my ability. I hope I can count on you in a scrape. <laughs> Stuff I'll never use. Specializations are skills that can only be acquired by pawns. They are not strictly beneficial, for they allow the pawn to act independently. And this can result in unexpected consequences. However, with a little patience, planning, and due care, specializations can prove useful and are worth trying out. If you'd like to learn a specialization for your pawn, you'd do well to, def to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world around you. Sooner or later, these friendships are bound to create opportunities to acquire a specialization. A pawn can only have one at a time, and learning a new one will replace the old one. Consult each entry for more info about its effects. I like the system is crazy, to be honest. I like it a lot. Definitely some... Um, Strand-type gameplay here. I guess we'll keep in Kyoko this for now. This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us a danger to ourselves and others. Is it specialization? Symptoms include an unruly attitude and overconfidence. And in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. That sounds most unpleasant. I do hope we shall remain free of it. In the end, the whole game's a character creator stream for the pawn. Uh, what was I? I was literally about to do something. Let's check our curatives. Because we should have some ripe stuff to maybe combine. I can only combine ripe fruits with other ripe fruits for now. I'm gonna get... You can combine rotten stuff into lantern oil, and I have been dropping it. <sighs> okay, that's good to know. Fish with spud equals lantern oil okay that's that's, that's kind of huge we also have been finding bark which we need to save see there's a tar arrow or the drench arrow that i can make which i was thinking about doing i can combine mincemeat roberant with the saurian tail we picked up to make 
Exquisite Roberant. Exquisite. Right, what about this? Just combine those up to make some dried fruit. All right, am I missing anything cool? Cinnamon bark needs to be saved. We can make a parching concoction has the effect of drying up excess water on the drinker's skin. Use it to cure the drenched debilitation. This might be useful for other things, but we'll find more of it. Dried meat with plant to make mincemeat rebrant. There's also a recipe list over here, which is handy as you discover recipes, so you don't have to memorize everything. There's a lot of unknown ones, though. Okay. We've got some things we don't know how to combine. At least not yet. Eyes. Watch them closely. What? Where? What? Slimes? Oh, damn, it's like an actual slime, bro. I just froze it. <laughs> touch it. Go touch it. Now you gotta touch it. It just oozed everywhere. Yo, the there are the useful ingredients to be gathered here. Ice I'll wager. buff is sick. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. The ice buff seems really good, dude. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna try and grab one. They're gonna put me to sleep, though. <laughs> Uh-oh. In! Wake me up! Wait, everyone. Don't kill this bird. Shit. Wrong button. Wait for the bird. Yes! Am I too heavy? <laughs> it's not really going that high. What did they just give me? Marginally higher. I mean, it's arm. How adorable. <laughs> Don't the birds. So. <sighs> Vicious. That's what you get. I'd be caught unawares. I am shamed. Yeah, I'm too tall to really be carried up by those guys. It's a painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. Did Ian just grab you to wake you up? Yes. He he he's just shaking me. Chai, you guys need to relax, okay? Don't tell me about your weird Ian McShane fantasies. And also, control your back seating, monochrome. Control yourself. I'm reading Prima Strategy Guide over here. Alright, this was just the alternate path we could have taken earlier.
Oh, I told them to wait, so they're actually waiting for me. Oh, I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? We actually might. Because I don't know what time of day it is. And we need to take a rest in real life. But no, I appreciate the enthusiasm, though. I appreciate the Alas, enthusiasm. Twould seem I've taken on too much. And it is it is good to know you can cure stamina deficiencies with a pat on the back. Let's rest right here. Actually, it's like midday. It's kind of, it's midday, dude. We are carrying a lot of stuff. I'm glad this chat is enthusiastic about the game and not constantly complaining. No, they constantly complain. They just complain about other things. And here I was hoping for some great treasure. Oh, now I feel a fool. It will find a use for it. They complain sure. about streamer being late. They complain about streamer not showing up at all. They complain about not being in emote only mode. They complain if they're ignored. They complain if they're acknowledged. They complain if the character creator's too long. They complain if the character creator's too short. No pleasing them. All right, so for these like destructible bridges, if you don't have a sword, how do you, like how do you destroy this? Or am I just too weak? <laughs> it appears to be destroyed. No matter. It is not the only path we may follow here. Okay. Chat. Those of you that are playing this game, well, I, I As just. I recall the location of another of our tasks is not far from here. When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Or so I've learned. I'm gonna be responsible for, like, fixing that property. The nearby village will remember this. <laughs> okay, what I was gonna ask was, those of you who are playing a different vocation than me in Dragon's Dogma 2, what does your Y button do where mine is front kick? Sorry, Boar, but I need the resources. Presumably. Ominous, but intriguing. Have we been in here? That's a no. Seems we've stumbled into Saurian territory. We are. Oh, that's a big boy. They murdered him so fast. I can't see anything, guys. I'm gonna turn I my lantern. Two words for that performance: utter perfection. <laughs> Our combined might is beyond any foe. Love the enthusiasm, guys. Thief gets a dash, warrior gets a block, fire has an impale that's like a critical hit. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Oh! Jesus! Seems I've drawn the short straw. Of course, I wouldn't really I have a whole party you can chase, bro! I missed. Game's hard. 
I keep getting into these like really claustrophobic encounters with my bow and arrow. This is the first time we found an ore node. Our new fighter is very happy. I'll gather these now. Twould be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. By Passage. all means. Here. Truly. There are secrets around every corner. I have a feeling tis best left untraveled. Am I the only one? Wait, you want to pass on all this loot? Seems rough not having any dodge moves. Yeah. That's the tough part. If I can just jump kick, that's probably my best way to create distance, but they have to already be right next to me. If they jump toward me, I'm kind of just... Gotta sprint away, for now. I did rank up a vocation level, and I haven't gotten to see what my new abilities are yet. And I don't really want to know, I kind of want to just explore that for myself. I need to... My problem is... Oh, there's a guy here. Not like a curative to fill one with vim. I need to rely on the auto-aim more often. I think my first instinct is to aim every shot instead of just, like, playing in third-person mode the way that the game is sort of intended. I think you can maybe be more efficient if you aim every shot. Uh, for example, my charge ability lights up when you're supposed to do it. Boom. That's when you're supposed to release for max damage. I'm not sure if it auto does it on this. Let's see. I'm not holding the button down. Yeah, it actually releases with perfect timing if you don't ADS. You just may not shoot the target you want to shoot. But if there's only one target, then it seems good. What's your warrior's temperament? Yeah, it's simple. Are plentiful hereabouts. We could My, uh, now. I think they're a fighter, use though. Them when the need arises. My, I think my fighter is simple. Very heavy. Okay. <clears throat> Did I just get a smoke beacon? What is that? A smoke beacon emits a scent enticing harpies. When lit in certain locations, harpies will flock. Set up traps. <sighs> okay, we've got some stuff that we need to share the load. Heavy. I don't think the archer skills do as much damage. Yeah, I think you pull uh, the bow back more. How much stem is a regular shot? The regular one is none. Now there's a worthy prize. The stronger one is also none. Away. It's mostly sprinting, which you'll do all the time. Oh, they see a chest on the other side of the water. <laughs> Classic. There might be a path that leads up there. But yeah, it's mostly the sprinting. You do get stam every time you level up, it seems like. I believe we looted all this. If only there was a bridge. Pray, I think... slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. I think you need more than no a bridge. Time to catch your breath. Try to keep up. Yo, they're finding cinnamon bark. I'm walking past. You guys are pretty cool, dude. I love that they just gather stuff sometimes. All right, we cannot cross here. We might be okay on this. The desire to check behind waterfalls is very strong, no matter how old I get. Well, there's no fixing this in a hurry. Better we take the long way round than waste our time gawking at it. <laughs> they know. If I do not jump oh. there, master. Oh. 
Wolf too? This spell will empower oh you with elemental magic. <gasps> We're good. Oh, enemy, he's got me! He's got me! He's got me by the neck! Help! He's eating me! Hunting down such Ian! Ian! Do something! Yeah, I can't get off! Ian! Help me! Guys! Jesus! Jesus, man! What the hell? He's just healing me the whole time. Like, uh, <laughs> ultimate Dungeons and Dragons torture hell. Letting someone slowly this kill you is the sound while a cleric keeps you alive. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. <laughs> this game is insane. The wolf just picked me up by the neck, dragged me against the wall, and just started, like, biting <laughs> different parts of my body. Like, trying- oh, there's a golden beetle right there. Just, like, killing me slowly, while the rest of my party struggled to cope with what they were seeing. He tried to run off with you, but got stuck. Yeah, I noticed that. that that's why the game's so insane, because of, like, the dynamic encounters. The encounters feel dynamic, rather. Where I feel like every time we have a fight with something, a different series of events occurs. Someone's throwing rocks, somebody's throwing At last, grenades. The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. What? What have you been waiting for? You want to defeat a Cyclops. Mayhap we ought to pay a visit to Travo Mine and search for the armorer's wares. I can guide you there if you wish. We're almost there, bro. We're just exploring, the right? The guard is yours. Lead on. She just really, really wants to pick some herbs. The is it? Uh oh, I was gonna say it's getting Light late. Has grown dim. He is pricked. It will be difficult to pinpoint distant foes by sight alone. We're good, team. There's a campsite right here. And then perhaps we can make our way up to that chest. But yeah. That was, that was insane. The gold beetles are the best idea for a collectible. There's nothing I want more than more carry weight in an RPG. Did not mean to sit down, but we'll take a little seat. All right, use, we got three beef steaks. Let's see that beautiful beef steak footage. Gorgeous. Sear it up. Gordon Ramsay would be so proud. What say we get some rest? I'm not sure I could face a trek with my belly so full. I quite agree. At best we recuperate our strength before we set off again. It's raw! <laughs> By the way, Star, thank you for 70 months and the tier 2 sub. Sorry I missed you earlier, but I appreciate the sub, dude. It's raining. And they actually, like, stick their hands out to look at it. Got little puddles forming. I wonder if it's, it's actually more slippery or something. Seems like footing is a big part of the game. What was that? I believe that's an actual FMV video. If it's not, they fooled me. It has the bitrate quality of a, of a fit, actual video.
The weird part is, is the first five seconds of cooking. All you gotta do is sear it. We did find our way up here. I really like the system of pawn spotting chests and stuff for you while you're exploring. It, it honestly makes... Oh, what luck! Tis a chest! Not all chests contain treasure, you know? <laughs> I'm allergic to pawn spotting chests from afar. But no, what I was going to say was, um... It makes the 100% exploration sort of impulse that I have just feel better. Because you're exploring, your pawns are helping you explore. What did you loot, by the way? What was in it? Who stole that? Did you just get a Wakestone shard and you took it? You thought you could have that? No. This is mine. Speaking of carry capacity, where are my beetles? I got the Cyclops eye. Chad, where are my beetles? Oh, there they are. Carry a little bit more. Not all chests have treasure, I just took this one. <laughs> oh, uh, this one was empty, master. Sorry, yeah, this chest um, had nothing in it. Not all of them do. It's crazy. It, it looked closed when we were below, but now that we've gotten here, I see it was previously opened. Why do they have an exclamation here by the bridge? Also, I saw that there was, like, stuff up there like Might up the there water over there? let us ponder how best to proceed all right i told svetlana to go and i will follow while we're here shall we take care of that other task we were entrusted with as well we'll make our way there in time as to whether it will be sooner or later that is for the Arisen to decide. I didn't realize the beetles were permanent buff. Yeah, it's just like a perma buff over the course of the game that just adds up. How are you liking the game? Do you feel the mixed reviews on Steam are justified? I'm liking the game a ton. I do think that the... I understand that people have performance issues. It's not like buttery smooth for me, but it's very smooth for me, I would say, other than being in the city. I don't think we can get up there from here. I think we need to go up there, like, uh, there's like a high road up there. Because I don't know how to get there yet. But yeah, definitely could be some performance improvements. Uh, I think that adding a new game function is necessary. I have a feeling tis best left untraveled. Am I the only one? Well, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Are the reviews mixed now? They were mostly negative yesterday. Curious if they're still mostly negative. Who's your main pawn? Uh, that would be Ian McShane. He's the narrator for Capcom. And he's also the narrator of our campaign. Not a foe in sight. Hmm. I cannot help but ache for a scrap. But yeah, if he's good, if he's good enough for the trailer, he's good enough to accompany us for our entire storyline and adventure. Dude, we just ate. <laughs> I know, right? But that was last there are night. useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. We technically slept. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. Oh. I literally almost just walked by this, but I caught it out of the corner of my eye. There is a crazy there. quantity a of loot. Allow me to open it, Arisen. Did you just spot the chest that I just opened?
Or did you find another more secret chest? Take this. It is something I found. I wanted you to have it. What? I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. <sighs> what were you going to give me? What, Kyoko? <laughs> what? <laughs> Babysitting, dude. As you wish, I shall return <laughs> directly. All right, this is where it's going to get a little crazy. Is this where we're supposed to purge the monsters? for dragging me and trying to kill me with biting my throat earlier. I'll have no more of this. We've earned ourselves a pat on the back. No doubt this trap will spur us Does fish the intercepted that, dude? This might be explosive. This might be explosive. I just realized. That was impeccably timed, Arisen. I think they're for the cave and whatever lies inside. Okay, before we explore the cave and fight the monsters that we're actually here to clear, whatever they may be, I haven't stood up in like four hours. So we should do that. We should stand up. Those drop kicks gotta be rough on the tailbone when you miss. Yeah, it's always embarrassing when you miss them, but the fact that you can miss them fairly easily makes it more fun. I just sat down. Well, no, it's time to get up. It's time to get up and not die gamer death. I'll be back in just a minute. Thanks for hanging out today. Hope you're having a nice afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And I'll be back with more in just a minute.